Oh, my friends. Hello. Look at me being on time. Uh, I'm gonna let this music kind of quiet down a little bit. I'm gonna let that quiet down. Hello! How you doing? Look at my hair being a hot mess. Happy Friday. Ooh. How you doing, Zig? Ooh, I really look a hot mess. I'm so sorry. I was doing my nails before this, so my priorities are uh, not my face. Hello, Park. How you doing? Let me do that. I don't know if my camera has, like, lag today. Um, I hope not, but... There's been there's been lots of computer stuff lately, so it's it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. You can probably see the behemoth of a computer behind me. That's not being used yet. I did not have enough time to set up completely to my liking. So we're not we're not we're not ready yet. Uh, give me another month, honestly, at the rate I'm going at. Shame. I only have so much time, dude. I, I'm so stressed about this fucking computer. Uh, it's it's actually annoying. Hi, hidden. How you doing? Yeah, trying to get everything synced on there, and, you know, I'm gonna overhaul my stream space, I'm gonna set up a desk, that way the computer's gonna be on top and you guys get to see it. Um, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a thing, just be patient with me. What happened this time? What do you mean, what happened this time? Nothing happened. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I get overwhelmed. You see Lulu? Yeah, Lulu's licking her foot, Astra's behind me. Hi, clapping. Uh, yeah. So, one thing at a time, I'm doing my best, but... It's, it's, there's, you have to be patient with me a little bit. Okay. Yeah, be patient with me, please. I'm doing my best. Um, it's just, everything is just taking longer than I thought. I did not break something. I got out of the shower, oh, like an hour ago. I put, I put mousse in my hair, so it's a little, it, it gives you that wet, beachy look. But, yeah, it's, it's been, it's been an adventure. It's been an adventure. I look hot. I am hot. I'm always hot. In term, if you mean warm, I am warm too. It's it's 75 in here. You know that's not what I meant, you jerk. I do think I'm hot. <laughs> Why can't I be confident? I'm I'm pretty confident. Uh, depends on the day, but today I feel hot. So you're gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> Don't give me that look. Do not give me such things. Alright, uh, bonus points to anybody who can guess what mount I'm sitting on right now. Don't, don't, don't do, do fizzy blind. No, I, I can't wait for my emote to come. Dude, I'm so excited for it. Uh, I did get a blind emote as well, and it's, I'm so excited. <laughs> I think she, she's, she's pretty quick, so I think a couple weeks she'll be done with it. Uh, last time I talked to her was like Monday, I think. It is not a chocobo. Morble? I don't even know what this is called, if I'm honest. One of the ponies or a fat cat. I don't want to show you yet. <laughs> it is actually not a pony. Hey, who's 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 that sniping me over here? You hear boss music. Closer. I'm literally like standing in the corner of like Mordona, just running into the wall so I can get the music playing. But yeah, how has your week been? My week was crazy. Um, we almost sent somebody to the hospital, so that was fun. Um, I always get flack. I sent, I sent one. I, you, you send one person to the hospital one time, and they never let you live it down. Uh, so it was, it was really funny because my doctor was like, "Are you gonna send somebody else to the hospital?" And I was like, "Well." Fuck. <laughs> Stop attacking people? I did not. I did not. How patients are crazy, that's how. Uh, so I was like, oh my fucking god, doctor, you- how dare you. <laughs> Thankfully my doctor's really chill, because I, I swear all the time, and he's just like- he swears too, it's fine. So I was like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> I'm like, it wasn't my fault! I just- I don't know. I have a rough day. I mean, yesterday was pretty crazy. Uh, but the rest of the week I think was pretty chill. Um, I did not work today. I had a day off, so that was really nice. 
Uh, I got to do my nails. That's what I was doing before stream. Uh, what I should have been doing was computer stuff. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna rearrange some furniture. Uh, I'm probably gonna move this desk over a little bit too. I'm gonna have a whole setup like an L L shaped, like, like a corner desk. Um, so yeah, currently my room looks like a fucking mess. It really does. There's there's a whole bunch of junk everywhere. Every, off every Friday. I think I work next weekend, but as of right now, I'm not working right now. It's not my fault. Like if there's work, I show up most of the time, but. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little messy. How you doing, Freya? Alright, I will show you, I will show you the mount I have. Boop. Uh, Meerkats and Mahan were helping me out. We ran, um, Ravana. It was Ravana. And I got this cute little burb, who's very, very pretty. Wow, they left like a fucking mob. That was cool. <laughs> so, yeah. I think it looks very cool. It's very shiny. Uh, I'm missing the... The one from the, the whale bird. That throat singing is hard to miss even when it's slightly muted. I like it! I like it. It's really cool. It's really pretty. And it, it, it took like five runs before it dropped. Um... We went through most of Alexander. There's a couple of them I have not done yet because we needed a bigger party. Um, where are you? I think we got about halfway through. Yeah, we got about halfway. This is We did all of these. We have one, two, one, two, three, four, five more of that. Uh, I don't think I finished my book either. My book is almost done. Five out of nine. That's not bad. My stickers are pretty shit though. Uh, but today I want to do uh, Shadow of Mach. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, and then continue with our MSQ adventures. That is that is my plan. Well, we needed a bigger party. We had a healer and somebody who was beating the shit out of everything. Hey, Meerkat! Hi, Future! One of the stickers is a mock grave. Perfect! Even better! <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. Yeah, I think it's hard to coordinate sometimes when they're, like, unfortunately, I'm, like, absolutely useless when running through, like, Alex and stuff, so it's like, I'm just kind of uh, there. I'm just kind of there. Other people have to do all the work, unfortunately. Our tech was only level 63 and kept dying. I saw his fault. It's, it's yeah, it's not my fault either. Short break from 14 ahead of patch 6.25 on Tuesday. Thought you had 9 No, this is it. This is this is my thing. She's gorgeous, but she she's kind of squishy. It was embarrassing. Uh, Meerkats posted a screenshot uh, when we were running the, the the Alex, and you see like my health is like this big. It like it's like a fraction of their their health at level 90. Uh, if I, if I had a level 90, I'd just do it all myself. I wouldn't even, like, ask for help. I'd be like, okay, I can do it. Yeah, it's okay. So that is my plan. Boop. So we're going to Ishgard, first of all. Oops. Oh, I forgot to bring my elbow brace. I'll grab it later. Do, 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 do. Mm. Hi, Skate! How you doing? Might have been able to do it, but none of us knew the mechanics, no. Hi, Bio! How you doing? You actually have to know them a bit in the Harder Savages. Yeah. I... I did, we did a lot of them. The 14 event starts next week. Hi, Reaper! How you doing? It's probably the middle of the night for you if it's... midday for me. I, I like... I like seasonal quests. I love doing seasonal things. It's funnier when you get a shield and see, like, three diamonds next to your name. What does that mean? 8 a.m.? Oof. You're up early. Today I woke up at like 11. I cannot tell you the last time I woke up so late. Like, I was I was up really late last night. Um, I'm going on a trip in a couple of weeks, so it's actually Halloween weekend. So Halloween weekend stream schedule is going to be kind of different. Uh, I'm going to stream on Halloween, which is Monday, and not the, the weekend. Uh, and I'm thinking of doing a spooky game. It's just for, you know, the sake of festivities. Uh, so that's the plan. 
But I will, I'll talk about it as it gets closer. Your HP is at low and the shields block more HP than you have. Haha. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Okay, so we are looking for the pillars. I gotta get to the pillars. Boop. Yeah, but I've been watching, or I've been trying to watch people that are, like, new to the game as well, and it's either, like, they're having a wonderful time and they're just totally invested, or they're just like, eh. Like, oh, oh MMOs can be overwhelming if you've not been in one before. Um, so that's just, I don't know, it's kind of cool. I'll, I'll, look, I'll browse casually. Uh, but I have, I have real commitment issues when it comes to streamers. Uh, I don't like many. <laughs> I don't like very many. Uh, I think I like... I don't want to say I like being the center of attention, but like I like the one controlling what's going on. I don't know, because sometimes like I'll watch someone and I'll be like, click the thing! Like, I, I, I assume you guys are like that too, when you see someone and you're just like, ma'am, ma'am please. Because <laughs> that's how I get up, like, you're driving me nuts. You <laughs> said mood. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know how y'all do it, but I, I'm very chatty. So, that also helps. Someone, mm? I, I, you know, I, I've said it before. Sometimes I wonder how y'all watch me with my, uh, with my gameplay. Because, like, I know if, if someone's trying to give me directions, I am... I am so incompetent when it comes to directions. We smile. <laughs> you smile and swear under your breath and be like... Forget, I get to watch her suffer. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, it's a struggle. Shut up! <laughs> You see lots of newbies struggle with the game map? How so? I feel the game map's not actually that bad. It's easier, I think, to navigate- well. Unless- if you know what zone they're in, it's fine. But I- I think it's actually a lot easier to use than WoW's interface. Because WoW, you actually have to click the zone, like... I don't know how to- how to explain it. Like, you have to- you- zones are in zones, versus, like, different- being in different places. So you have to, like, click it, and then sub-click it, and sub-click it to get where you want to go. Uh, I don't know. I think this game is, like, pretty pretty good with travel and stuff. But, yeah, I'm sure it could be overwhelming. Who's that? Hello! What are you doing, weirdo? <laughs> yeah, I'm the weird one. Right. <laughs> Hi, Gap! How you doing? Oh my god. You are so silly. See people not realize by clicking the arrows, connecting the new quest, maybe. Ah, yeah. I think there there's a little bit of a learning curve, but I don't think it's super steep. But I, I do understand how people get overwhelmed. I do. Are you sky pirates? Yes. I want to be a sky pirate. I feel like I need to dress appropriately. Uh, you have the look of a lass who's seen her fair share of trouble. May happy be willing to help me with mine. I need a capable sort to head into the Sea of Clouds and track down my missing airship. How do you lose an airship? Uh, I had to mortgage my soul to get the vessel built, so winning the contract to ferry supplies out to Cloudtop was a real way off my mind, but it seems my luck ended there. My ship was due back in Ishgard bells ago, and I've been praying for a glimpse of her sails ever since. I can't help fearing the worst. What if she's run afoul of Sky Pirates? My creditors will have their puns of flesh. You think me foolish to fear piracy so far above the waves? Well, let me tell you that no honest merchant is safe now that airship production has, if you'll excuse the pun, taken off. Any scoundrel worth a sack of coin and a vague sense of direction can terrorize the skies. Oh yes, this new breed of buccaneers likes to paint themselves as dashing explorers braving the unknown. But the truth of their nature is right in their name. Sky Pirates. Given half a chance, they'll strip you your ship of every last scrap of cargo and cry Yarhar as they launch you screaming over the rails. I've heard the stories. Please, you must make haste to Camp Cloudtop. That's where my shipment was bound. And make inquiries as to the fate of my poor ship. Uh, oh, and my poor helmsman. Ask Ront Rontremont. He'll know, if any man does. Hello! Hi Crowley, 
what's up? It took you a while to get that too. You young folk got it easier with quest icons having little elevation arrows. That's really nice, actually. Early AR was a pain without them. I can only imagine, especially on the, the high, the, like, cloud, camp cloud top, uh, where it's like, what level is it on? Oh no, absolutely not. Mm -mm. I would get lost. Hello! I like your halo. It seems like every time I see you guys, you're wearing something different. I still look like a potato. I, I have commitment issues, so I'll, like, stick to one outfit for a while. I bought, I went through my inventory and I bought a whole bunch of, like, Dark Knight weapons. I turned them- I, I have so many, but I have not glammed them yet. They're not in my armor- armoire. Armoire? They're not in the dresser. That's- that's next. It's a, it's a list of things to do. be a pirate. Oops. A supply airship has gone missing, you say? Well, that would certainly explain why our provisions are so late in arriving. I did, in fact, spy a vessel charting an erratic course northwards a short while ago, but as it seemed disinclined to make port here, I paid it little mind. Not the most compelling piece of evidence, I grant you, but I have witnessed not else of interest. I would suggest you investigate the landmass to the north. Rest assured, I will send word if I spy another side of our errant supply ship. Off we go. It is important. It's really nice that you don't have to take fairies in this game. One thing WoW did was it, uh, it sort of forced you to- if- There is no direct way to get from one zone to another. They- Sometimes it's portals, sometimes it's boats. Um, sometimes you have to go through one zone and out the other. It's very annoying. Um, and waiting for the fairies to arrive, like, actually, like, they would take off and come in. So, be damned if you missed your fairy and you had to wait five minutes. <laughs> I get so annoyed. <laughs> oh, this poor man. Aid! Aid, I say! These villains mean to plunder my cargo! What have you got there? What have you got here, then? Think you're so some sort of hero, do you? Why, as a matter of fact. Yes. Well, then, you won't mind if me mates here join in the fun. Make for a more heroic tale, won't it? A tale of how three sky pirates fed a meddling little shite her own bloody eyes. Oh. You, oh. Okay. I will fuck you up. What the? Oh gods, I know that ship. It's... Who is it? So you're the Scrags would have been dragging about our good name through the mud. Who are you? You, you're Red Bill Lawfard. We ain't done not to you or yours. What do you want with us? Red Bill, huh? I like his neck scarf. I think I made me a position pretty clear. You take on the mantle of Sky Pirate, you agree to a certain code of conduct. And codes ain't wor mu worth much if folk go around breaking them. Frankly, lads, you're making us look bad, and we can't have that. No hard feelings, though, eh? Damn! That's one way to solve a problem. Thank you, Master Lofard. Thank you. I am certain my master will wish to repay you. 
If your employer does business in Ishgard, he'll likely know a merchant or two what trades with me associates. Uh, tell him to say it's for La Part, and any reward should reach me soon enough. Okay. Oh, I want, I'm interested in this logo. As for you, adventurer, tain often someone beats me to a scene, but then I'd expect not less from a hero such as yourself, Dahlia. <gasps> you recognize me, I'm flattered. That is who you are, ain't it? I don't know too many other lasses with one of them marvelous mana cutters the ironworks dreamed up. Well then, it seems you saved me the trouble of tracking you down. I've been hoping to have a word with you, you see. Confusion? Yeah, me too. I'll put it to you straight. I need someone to help out with a little venture I have in mind. Someone used to taking a few risks. Now, this wouldn't be no black-hearted brigand's work, so don't go worrying yourself on that account. Unlike them thieving curs just now, I don't hold with robbing honest folk. For me, you see, the Sky Pirate's life is all about freedom. The freedom to go where you will to find out what lies beyond the next cloud. If you're interested in joining us on an adventure worthy of the name, then look for me standing outside the northern reaches of the Blue Window. Someone will be waiting there to greet you. That's tempting. But what do I gain? I need I need to know. What's my reward? Well, that was interesting. Old FF11 used to be like that. They learned no one wanted to sit around waiting for ships. I don't want to sit around waiting for ships either. But what can you do? I don't know. I like the, the diversity that WoW had. But it was also... It was really annoying because in one of the X packs, they decided to change the whole uh, system. And they had a, oh, basically like however you memorized how to, how to get from point A to point B, like I said, some of them through portals, some of them through ships, they like scrapped it and threw it all out the window and they made like a, a hub. So it's like, I, I remember how to get everywhere because I had to like map it in my brain. Otherwise, I you, you, can't, you couldn't get to your destination. But then they like, they, they got rid of everything, uh, and they turned it into a portal room, which has limited portals. So it's like, now you have to portal somewhere and then fly to your destination. And it just, I don't know. It's like, why just pick a side, pick a side. When you were a WoW noob, you didn't know how to get places in that you were going to Angoro Crater. Oh no, to level. <laughs> so you flew to Thunder Bluff, then all the way to Thousand Needles, and then swam across. Oh no, and jumped off the edge of the crater to res at the bottom. <laughs> I mean, you got there. <laughs> yeah, basically what Meerkat was saying, it's you're ha like you teleport one place, fly to another place. It's easier to die sometimes and, and just res somewhere else uh, just, than just to fly to point B. Hi, Ultima. Imagine you just get in bed and Fizzy starts screaming. I mean, I'm sure that's happened before. That's disappointing. Wow. Welcome to WoW. It was a long walk. I, know. I remember I teleported to where old Dalaran was. And basically when you teleport to old Dalaran, you drop to the bottom because Dalaran isn't there anymore and you die. <laughs> so it's like, then you res, you fly up north. Because there was no... I don't think there was anything closer to Arathi if you wanted to get to Arathi, like, the actual zone. Oh my god, my brain. It hurts. <laughs> The only fun thing with the ship in Eleven was sometimes you would get rare events and attacked by a ghost ship or pirate. Oh, that's fun. I like quirky stuff. Am I am I in the right place? I am in the right place. That's weird. Okay. You need five hours of sleep before you go to the gym. Ah, uh, how can I help you with this? Leave. I'm very eccentric. This is not new. Oh, that's far enough, stranger. If you value your life, tell me true. Did you stumble across this marker by chance, or are you here by invitation? Uh, the pirate wants me? Uh, then that would make you the hero the captain said to watch out for. Well met. The name's Stasia. Le uh, La Lawford? I want to say Lawford. Lawford would call me his right-hand woman, but I feel like his bloody nursemaid, God's truth be told. Oh, mood, sis. Mood. <laughs> Ahem. Anyway, uh, my thanks to you for coming to hear about. If you'd follow me, I'd take you to the Red Bill's Nest. Thank you. 
Thank you for popping by. Oh, that's cute. She's pretty. I like her. Maybe because her hair is gray, I trust her more. Hey, Rob. come to you in person and still you refuse my offer. Arrogant fool. On the subject of arrogance, Radlia, I bow to your superior knowledge. But that's all the bowing you'll get from me. As I've told you a dozen times before, I ain't no one's lackey. Oh, she's hot. But my dear Lawford, how else do you propose to survive an expedition into the ghost ship? Ghost ship? I would fear for my life with naught but your feeble crewmates at my back. While I'd fear for my life with your mangy crew at my back on account of them being murderous, untrustworthy bastards to man. Dude, she's buff too. I want to look like this. Hmm. I thought you were cleverer than this, Redbill. But no matter. I always get what I want in the end. Tis merely a question of method. Tell him. <laughs> Hi. Now there's a face I've not seen before. Hmm. You don't have a look of one of Lawford's little birds. She's a guest. You understand the concept, don't you? You know, when someone is invited instead of just bursting through the door whenever she damn well pleases. Ooh, catty. Hmm, that was Radlia, captain of the Talons. She knows Lawford's the best sky pirate alive, and the fact that he won't join her sticks her in the craw. Oh, bummer. Are you gonna let them talk to you like that, Captain? We should teach them, Redbill, some respect. Patience. When all of this is over, we shall see who rules the skies. Hmm. Ooh. Might shove a few of those in my pockets on my way out. Oh, who's that? Hello there, hero. I promise you high adventure, and the high adventure you shall have, for we plan to board the Sea of Clouds' very own ghost ship. He smiles as he says ghost ship! <laughs> I want folk have been taken to Collinwood anyway. Every day for the past few weeks has brought it with new sightings of self-same vessel, a massive airship of queer design adrift on the wind. Being a curious lot, there was a few buccaneers who tried exploring below decks, but none of them have been seen since. And so, naturally, they've been saying the ship's cursed. Well, still haunted. Like I said, an honest to God's ghost ship. I'm down. I guess. Um, my guess is she's another relic left behind by the Allegans, but we won't know for sure till we've had ourselves a good poke around inside and liberated whatever ancient treasures she's got moldering away in her hold, of course. But before we start dividing up the spoils, we've got to find the damn thing. Which is why we've been working on a special new device. Bah, finding her will be the easy part. What we can't do without is veteran explorer that ain't afraid to fling herself face first into the jaws of danger. Hi! 
Now, I know you're the gallant champion of the people and all, but strip away the fame and glory, and I'll wager you're still an adventurer at heart. So what say you, Dahlia? Fancy a plunge into the unknown at the side of the Red Bills? Hell yeah! Dude, when he smiles, I get like, I'm nervous. I'm nervous, dude, when, when, when strange men smile at me. Then it's settled. Let's pay a visit to our crewmate, Utada. She's been working on a way to track the vessel. Oh dear. You and your fetish for white hair. Her hair is gray. Okay. Giga Ghost Ship? What does Shaggy say? I feel like this is a very Scooby Doo moment. Like, zoinks. <laughs> Her neck chain looks like a spider. I liked it. I think she was hot. Now, the, is the ship haunted or is it a dead ship that is a ghost? Like, the ship has been, like, stabbed and it's a zombie ship. Like, SpongeBob? I don't know if are you all are old like me and watch Spongebob. Like the Flying Dutchman's ship. You skipped all of this, thank you for reading you a story. I'm so glad to have you, and thank you for enjoying my narration. Better than Dotto? Who's Dotto? I'm a reformed cutscene skipper, but I haven't finished all of the old content. I'm so glad you're enjoying it, Meerkat. I too am a cutscene skipper. I'm, I'm working on it. Sometimes I get into like the habit, I'm like... No, I have to read the dialogue. It's important. It's uh, for what I've learned from last week. Oh my gosh! If you guys were here last week, um, I don't remember his name. We lost a character in a side quest, which is now my most viewed clip on TikTok. Thank you so much. Here's my plug. Because um, it was me saying you can't lose characters in side quests. That's like against the rules. Like, but you know I was wrong, and the character died, and I'm just like, so. Now, I, I, every scene's important. You don't know if someone's gonna get, like, thrown out of the story. The Garlane dude, yes. He was protecting... Oh, that one guy. The Asian little boy. Asian little boy? I don't remember his name. With the violet eyes. Am I starting Heaven's Words? Words raids? Yes. The Shadow of Mach is, I think, where we're going. The Warring Triad. It was. I think it was the Warring Triad. Um... He I, don't, I really don't remember. I think so. Unukali. Yes! Whose name I keep forgetting because it's difficult to pronounce. Yes, he saved Unukali. Uh, and then he passed. And I would just could not believe it. So, I can't skip anything. Because now it, it just might be like super relevant. And you just don't know. But here we are. Ukulele. Why does every character have a silly nickname? <laughs> But now, but now that you say that, I'm going to remember his name. That's so funny. I'm going to call him ukulele. This is it. It's done. It's done. It's been done. <laughs> you are ruining this for me. Oh, hi, Twilight! <laughs> I just have this. Like, is this something that you do, or is this like a, like a communal Final Fantasy? Like, this is what we call him, because we can't pronounce the name, or just you. And it's silly names. Uh, yeah. Sheesh. <sighs> that you can skip side content and still enjoy MSQ, but the side content creates so much depth. Yes, yes. And I'm I'm kicking myself for not talking to more side characters. However, I believe it was a few streams ago, somebody mentioned that at the, the Rising Stones, um, I need to start talking to the people there because there's like a love story or there's some kind of drama happening with... Uh, the brute. What's his name? Bory, Bory something. Hori Bo Boulder? Rory Boulder. I don't You know who I'm talking about. There's a few communal names, like the dude from the expansion trailers is nicknamed the Derplander. Why would you call him the Derplander? Have to do that one? I don't know if it's a love story. I was just told to pay attention to it. Boulder. I was close. I was close. <laughs> This raid story in particular has a bunch of Gaelic words that all of us Americans butcher. Oh my god, Gaelic is so hard. Or any kind of, oh, any kind of Irish background. I'm gonna do my best, but as you know, I barely, I barely speak English. <laughs> There's a threesome with Hori Mulder. <laughs> oh my god. There's always some drama. That crew only knows how to be horny. Are they, is that, Really? I need to go visit. I, I had no idea there was like a hoarding this thing. Oh my. Is everybody sleeping with people? I must know. Ainer. Yes. I'm never gonna forget 
the Hildy quests. There. What? What? Am I, am I? Have I done those? I don't think I've done those. Bad news? What happened? You okay? I want drama. I've, I've realized over... I've accepted over the... The, the past few uh, weeks that I just really like gossip and drama. And it's like... I don't know. It's not, it's not my life. My life is boring. But it's like someone else's drama. I'm like, damn! That sucks for you. <laughs> I saw, yes, the guy who played Hagrid, the actor, has passed away, unfortunately. Oh, so sad. Thank Hagrid was hitting on the Hamid. Oh, hell no. The mom? No. Really? Hagrid hits on everybody, though. If you don't understand, then you most likely haven't. Is it traumatizing? They are great and are tied to the upcoming relic quests. They do... Okay, okay. Hokrid, stop! Don't be mean! He looks really cute. He looks really scruffy right now, and I'm just, like, totally vibing with it. Because, you know, he's been living in the wilderness, being this, like, I don't know, nature man, and I'm just like, wow, okay, I'm down. Is dad aged? What do you mean, dad aged? He's only in his 30s, meerkat! <laughs> he's about mad. It's like Tarzan! <laughs> do you thought Tarzan was cute? <laughs> Hamid is only 37. That makes me feel bad. I thought she I don't know, maybe it's the white hair that makes me I don't know. I feel like she's she was older. Because how old is Minophilia? There's hope for you. Oh my god. I never remember. Cause I thought she was more like a mom. I don't know. I was I was expecting like 50. Oh my. You could be in grab you can. You can. Which is frightening. So frightening. My, I'm, I keep trying to tell my parents that they're going to be grandparents soon. Uh, because my brother and his wife are trying to have kids. And they're just like, no, 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 no. And I'm like, they're in there. My dad's in his 60s. Before this wedding. Oh, okay, Reaper. Thank you so much for lurking. Thank you, thank you. You had a co-worker that became a grandma at 38. Yeah, because if, if they had a child in their teens or late teens. And then that child had a child in their late teens. It just... Yeah. I don't know. I'm not there yet. Mm -mm. Let's talk to this little Utada. Greetings. The name's Utada. I suppose you'd call me the Red Bill's chief of engineering. Smithing, carpentry, magitech. If it's part of an airship, I can fix it. Oh, okay. Are we gonna ship you and, uh, Wedge? But no, Wedge has a thing for a Tataru. Just don't expect to see me waving a cutlass and swinging it over the rails. Thank you, Twilight! Thank you, thank you! I appreciate it. Uh, if there's fighting to be done, well, that's what we have you for. Am I the Brute Squad? I don't know how I feel about that. I usually like being the princess, but that's fine. Okay, I'll manage. <laughs> okay, to rule the skies... Well met, ladies and gentle pirates. Now that we appear to have our hero, I'm happy to report that we've overcome the last obstacle to boarding the ghost ship. Meaning your project is proceeding as planned. That it is, Captain. I knew this would be the perfect place to take readings. The scant amounts of background ether make it easy to follow the derelict's trail. The ghost ship is what Utada tells us is a unique etheric signature. She's been building a device what can sniff out this particular spectral flavor and point us in the right direction. Ooh, flavor. Ooh, the music. I call it the Ecto Compass. Uh, it's allowed me to collect some solid data on the vessel's movements and pilot a relatable intercept course. Uh, no groping blindly through the clouds for us. All the ships are loaded and ready to fly. Just say the word, Captain. Utada, you'd best stay here, out of harm's way. Keep an eye on the them aether trails, eh? Aye, Captain. Grab an armload of treasure for me. Now, we've got no way of knowing what's waiting for us on that cursed hulk, Dahlia. So you'd best bring along a few mates uh, what you know that you can trust. Don't hurt to be too careful, seeing as how you'd be going in first and all. I did tell you that you'd be going in first, didn't I? Well, you will. 
The rest of us will be guarding the rear, just in case Radlia and her brood decide to stick their beaks in where it ain't wanted. Don't worry, she'll not get past us, so you can concentrate on carving a path into the ship's belly. An honest to God's ghost ship. Oh ho ho, this is gonna be an adventure and a half. I'm scared. <laughs> Oh, right. So what is the Void Ark? Is it here? What is it under? Is it a trial? And then everybody died. Shut up! No! Oh, it is. It's right here. Okay. All right. Who wants to come with? I am absolutely ready to... I'm tanking. And Bio is, is healing. You wanna come, future? I am so down! You wanna come too, Zig? I'd love to have you. And you, Twilight. Yes, yes, please. Uh, there is Zig. Twilight. Twilight's name was a little different, I think. You are... Where are you? You're not Rose. That's Foofy. That's Meerkat. Where are you? There you are. I did not see you. I like how you have a little sprat! One, two, three, four, five. Whatever you're comfortable with, it looks like. How many? What? What is the... One tank, two healers, five DPS. Yeah, whoever just wants to do DPS. It's up to you. I'm very excited. And a little nervous. It's like Crystal Tower. Does it have, like, phases? You wanna come in? Oops. Okay. The first few encounters aren't too tricky. The final encounter does require all three tanks to pull ads apart. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no pressure. It's fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. You're just a little sprout. Me too. I'm gonna hold on to this for dear life. It's like four bosses. The first one's pretty easy. Okay. Hi, Faye! How you doing? One, two, three, four, five, six. We got two more spots if people want to come. First raids and they got fast. You won't have it for long. No, don't say that. I would like to keep my, my little sprout. I don't want to lose it. It's my friend. It lets people... It lets me get away with being a newbie. <laughs> But one thing at a time. It's okay. Oops. You see Sprouts and Endwalker? I guess if you, like, push through the story, you could get there quickly. But what's what's the fun in that? You're eventually going to lose yours since you make more progress in Shadowbringers. Ah. Entrusted from fighting with your ISP. Oh, I'm sorry. Are they? Is it not? Is your internet not cooperating? Story skips. Yeah. Why? So I, if I made an, another character like on a different world, would they also have a sprout phase? Like I, if I skip everything because I've done it on this character, would they get the little clover or it's account wide? Answering the first quest of Endwalker. Three hundred. I'm not. I don't think I'm at three hundred yet. Thank goodness. But I think idle time still counts as playtime, so I really should log out when I'm done. Uh, so my, my little clover won't go away. But at, at this rate, I think I'll have it for a while. It starts for each character. Okay, then that makes more sense. Because somebody could have just, like, powered through the game and got to the end. That's fair. Boop. Alright, are we gonna queue with six? One, two, three, four, five, six. I know the numbers are there. I was told the numbers are there. I, I may, mentally, I need to count. <laughs> okay. I'm ready to party. It's like, should I be going as a DPS? Now I'm scared. You could turn it off. Nah. I'd rather people know I'm, I'm new and they are. I think there's a little more grace offered to people who don't know what they're doing. You tried to upgrade your speed and it's been a disaster of mistakes, constant disconnections, etc. That sucks. I'm sorry. I had... 
when I lived with my parents, I had the gig internet because there was so many of us on the internet at once. Uh, but I think I have, like, Spectrum's mid-tier now. Uh, and it's, I don't know. I'm supposed to pay, like, $80 a month, but I called them and was like, yo, I need a discount. So the lady was nice enough to give me the, the discount. You have the gig internet now, too? You're a mega nerd. I used to, and it was nice, but I don't, I don't need that much power now. Hello! Okay, I'm gonna join and we're gonna begin our madness. Last call? Anybody else? We're queuing with six. Okay. Void arc. Okay, join. Oops. Should be fine. Brave new Uriange. What does that even mean? I actually don't know what Uriange's face looks like. Can I see this? I'm like, I swear to God, if Uriange is hot, I'm gonna lose my mind. I refuse to believe Uriange is hot. Because I, I think he's a bad guy right now. Mm -mm. And at this point, I don't even know if I'm ever gonna see Astinian's face. Because <laughs> Astinian is now a dragon. And I do not find dragons to be particularly hot. Just saying. Everyone is bad or dead. <laughs> he is hot, at least to you he is. I don't know what your type is, Twilight. You shouldn't have given him the other eye. I, I, that was not my idea. I didn't want him to transform into a bad guy. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Maybe it's for the best that like all of the Garleans have like masks on and stuff, so I can't see them. Shame on me, what did I do? I just, I just, I don't know. I'm just gonna sit in my corner. I wish it wasn't nighttime. It's so hard to see at nighttime. Oh, you're so cute. Like, do I even have anything else in my inventory? What are these? Manifestos? When did I pick all this shit up? Oh, it must have been... I'm just gonna- I shove all of my junk to my retainers at this point and it just sits in there. It's just- it's just gonna sit in my retainer's inventory. I just- I might get a few more just to have more inventory space. Event- do you trade them in for stuff? Because there's a pile of them. I usually like buffman myself, but I do like other types every now and then again. I- I- I don't know... The buffness is just kind of a bonus. I don't know. I, I like it when they're they're charming. Like Sir Emmerich, I think is quite charming. <laughs> it's a drop every time you kill the boss. Delete it. Oh, it's like garbage. I always do forget to eat. That I do. Oop. Thank you. Oop. Hello. Oh, I like that. That's, that's cute. The longest five minutes of my life, and it's only been three minutes. That's one thing with me, is I... I'm a tank because I hate Q-types. <laughs> All that text CXP for when you get to the storm blood. <laughs> you just gotta face roll everything, you know? No, not really. I'm just gonna pick up another class at this point. I have not looked at my my fucking dancer. I haven't looked at it since last week or the week before. I just it exists. It's there, but I'm just like, yeah, eh. I'll get there. I miss my summoner too, but tanking just I don't know. Something about having control of the fight is just like really appealing to me lately. It's only- oh, that's my time. I was like, wait a minute, it's only 5 p.m.? I legitimately just tried to jump off this. Boop. Like, would it have made it easier if we had a full party? I don't even think so.
My chocobo, I think, is also still in the in the stable. Oops. Yeah, twenty four is kind of a lot, especially for something that's not exactly current. Mm -hmm. Do people still do this? Should we do it? I don't know. I don't necessarily want to do it unsynced. I'd rather experience it. What's that? Is that where we're going? Is that the pirate ship? What is that? Oh, raid roulette. I see. Mm hmm. Just a ghost ship? It's. I thought it was. When I say picture a ghost ship, I thought it was going to be either like misty blue. Like, you know, spooky, kind of ghosty. Or I was going to picture it green because of Spongebob. Uh, I did not expect bright purple. Did not expect that. People wouldn't queue for this. The roulettes can grab people to fill in, but it's usually a circus tower. Yeah. Okay, that's a good idea, actually. Just go to the story while we're in queue. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine with me. I figure we'll come back here anyway. You want to join? We're already queued! I can't pull out now because I think we're, we'll get a penalty. I don't know. Can, I can't invite in, in progress, can I? Can I do that? I won't get a penalty? People choose raid roulette by equipping the lower gear and then queuing. You're hurrying, so I, I, I can do it? If you're sure... I will withdraw. Okay. Mm, okay, so let me invite anybody else. Where are you, Reaper? After the confirmation pops. Ah, I see. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. I think he's gonna log in. In the meantime, I'll do... I will pick this up. We'll come back here. You're fine. 12 players is like a minute and a half. I think if it's anything less than like 30, I'm just like, whatever. It's fine. Mm. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, look at the little spooky guy. I love, I love people seeing people wearing like the ghost outfits. It's just the funniest thing. The Stormblood raids take longer for the queue? Why is that? I just saw you. There you are. Those are fun. Is this one not fun? All right, queue it up again. Let's let's try this again. And I'm just gonna do story in the meantime. Most people don't do them sync. They don't really care for the content. That's whack. I don't know. Why not? Why not experience it as it's intended? This one is the weakest out of the 24 bands. Oh, that's a bummer. I know. Right. I don't remember where we were in the story. Besides, I think we were looking for Minfilia. He found the SB raids really boring. Mm -hmm. The next two are fun, but for mechanics. Well, I can I can hopefully figure that out. Behaving himself since your surgery and the ISP issues, let me know if you need to smack him around. I don't think I've seen him today. I think I saw him last week. If it pops mid scene, I'm gonna be so pissed. Hello! Yes it is! Yes it is. We've just met Kryle. Thancred graced us with his beauty, his naked glory, uh, last, last time, I think. <laughs> and we've just queued up for Shadow of Mach. While we, while we wait for that, we're gonna continue. Uh, my apologies, I see that I am the last to arrive. So what news have you for us? Well, as we postulated, there was indeed what appeared to be the remnants of an unexplained disturbance in the ether at the scene of Ultima's weapons destruction. A ripple at odds with the presiding pattern. 
Though faint, the waveforms bore a strong, strong resemblance to those observed following the destruction of the Isle of Baal, where I believed Heidelin shielded me with the blessing of light. To confirm our findings, we paid a visit to Sildith Aqueduct. There we detected the same waveform, but orders of magnitude larger, as one would expect of a more recent disturbance. Heidelin, there's no other explanation. But there's more. When I studied the site where Yustola used flow, it appeared that not two, but three beings had been affected. Aha! Yet unlike Yustola and Thancred, there was no trail to follow. Our unknown third party was simply there and then not there. Now, recall your visions of a vast crystal floating through a sea of ether. Though this too is but a theory, studies of gifted subjects suggest that when communicating Communing with Hydaelyn, we briefly leave our bodies behind. So let us consider the facts. 1. Hydaelyn interceded. 2. A third being was caught in Yostola's flow and vanished without a trace. And 3. Hydaelyn may have the capacity to summon the consciousness of gifted individuals to her side. So Minfilia might be with Mama Crystal? So you are implying, I take it, that Hydaelyn guided Minfilia to the compass of my magic, that she might summon her body and soul into the ethereal sea? In which case, we must needs continue our search there. For a blessing, she means to do so already exists. I speak of the Anti-Tower, a Charlene construction conceived to provide scholars a vantage point over the ethereal sea. Though I know not where its entrance lies, we need only to ask its last custodian, a contrary old crone who, for another blessing, refused to join the exodus. Master Matoya was the keeper of the anti-tower? I had no idea! Then our course is clear. We must petition her aid once again. Master Matoya is so sick of us. <laughs> we, I think we visited her for three or four times now. The uh, SB raids are good, but are slow, and the slowest to pop is Stormbloods. Oh, look at that timing! Thank you so much. Perfect, perfect. You hope you enjoy the game. I've been playing for about a year, and it's your first MMO. You truly love it. You also call Kryl Mini Poppins because she gives you Mary Poppins vibes. I love, I love Kryl, and I love her sass. She is, she speaks her mind, and she puts Alfie in his place, and I kind of love that about her. <laughs> She's a bib. <laughs> Stop showing up and bothering her and her frogs. I loved the frog and the broomstick quests. That was so fun. You can't wait till the math boss? Don't make me do math. Oh. See, why is it purple? It's too pretty to be a ghost ship. Something about organs? Organ playing is just like. Oh, I'm tanking! I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. Whoops! Okay, good luck! Castlevania vibe. Oh my. I'm just, I'm just, I'm following them. Don't look at me, I'm lost. Like, thank you so much for holding aggro for five seconds. I don't know where I'm going. She's low-key a flirt. Not in an attraction kind of way, but I will get a reaction out of you. Oh, yeah! You respond well to that kind of energy. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Like, when, when I first met her and she uh, told Alfie off in a very kind of sassy way, I was like, okay, you're you're my favorite right now. It was, it was just... It was amazing. Although I will say, I, I think I, I've been needing some some more characters to ship. Like I don't know if I would ship Prowl with anybody, um, but I need I need a romance arc. Look at everybody has a crown, and I have my little clover. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going.
of stingrays. Hi, Gabe. How you doing? I'm like, am I late? No, I'm not. Are we all just... Okay. I'm like, was I supposed to take initiative? I don't know. Here we are. Oh, I have aggro. Okay. Bago's not one of the fans that ship the twins. The t to each other? There's- what? No, that's weird. Sorry. I haven't even seen Alize in this X-Pack. There's people like that? No. I- there- mm, no, sorry. I don't even know who I would ship right now. I mean, after I lost Minbrita, just all of my faith in, in this game is just- whoop. There, exactly. See, I have a thing for characters with white hair. That is, like, my my, my thing right now. Uh, but, like, Alfie's a, a child. Absolutely not. You can't. It's just, that's against the rules. Like, how many of these are there? Am I dumb? I'm dumb. It's hard for me to mark the tanks without there being some sort of indicator. So Ash and I lost Mood, yeah. She she was definitely mummy. I was very upset. And when we lost uh Hashikon, my boy. Uh, did we fuck this up? Were we supposed to be inside? No. Divide and conquer. Wow, that raid group actually knows what they're doing? Everybody fucking got inside? What the hell? How are people so on top of things? I'm like, that's coordinated. Oh. I was like, whose coordination's that good? <laughs> Like that's that's too professional for me. This is this is baby's first raid. Hang on, Gabe. I'm trying not to die. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just dead. Okay. You gotta. Your boy got a haircut. Nice. I'm, I hope you are liking your haircut. I decided not to get a haircut. Rule 34 is a thing. Yeah, rule 34 is bizarre. But I don't go searching for things like that. Is there a subreddit for that? I'm sure there is. I'm not going over there. You look sexy. I'm glad you think you look hot. Armor drops for glam? Okay. Am I... Okay, he seems to be leading, so I'm just gonna follow him. I have like zero aggro, this is embarrassing. But he's probably geared better than I am anyway. read everything. At this point, I just, like, hoard supplies. Um, and then maybe I'll glam it, maybe I won't, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it anyway. Because, why not? Are we going in a circle? Okay. I thought so. I was like... I 
wonder what these creatures are doing uh, in a pirate ship at the moment. But I guess anything can be in a pirate ship. I was expecting more skeletons and zombies. You can assume lots of MMO or you're just brave because tank responsibilities scare you. I, I love tanking. I love tanking. I've played WoW uh, where I just played DPS. And I did play DPS up until we made it to Ishgard. Uh, where I discovered the Dark Knight and the story, which was so good, and I just... I haven't really looked back. I've not played another tank class. I occasionally will go back to my DPS, but healing is not for me. Healing is too much responsibility, and I... I let people die. So... <laughs> Tanking is more my style. One tank takes the central thing, other tanks take the other. Okie dokie! It's like a Cerberus. Mages or healers? I do- I- I thought I would like a mage. Um, I started this game with a black mage. Team B is down a player. Oh. Eh. It's not a healer, it's just DPS, it's fine. Yeah, dark- I mean, the black mage was a little challenging, but once I found summoner- summoner was wonderful. I- I love summoner. But something about tanking is just, I feel more important tanking, so I've just been doing that. I was said it's amazing riding, but so much rides on tank and you view yourself as a professional klutz. I, I relate tremendously. Um, maybe because I predominantly play with other, with friends, uh, I've not had an issue with toxic- What the fuck is that?! Okay, yeah, I figured it wasn't friendly. Uh, I've not had a really much issue with toxic players, but I'm sure they exist. Um, if I have run with randoms, like in a, in a roulette or something, um, when in doubt, pull everything. Pull everything. Uh, and I think most of the time it's fine. Hi, Gargoyle! How you doing? They exist in endgame for mount farming. Whoops. <laughs> I did like how the relic weapons look, though, for the black mages. They're so pretty. I mean, these- oh! Don't step in the muck, I assume, yeah. I am such a useless tank. Because I assume the big center thing is being tanked by the other guy. The boss has a blocking buff raised to magic damage. What am I supposed to do then? What the fuck? I'm, 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 excuse me, I'm a plant. Pardon me. Oh, there I go. Thank you! Our entire team is getting leveled. What the fuck? Thank you to our healers. I'm in try-hard mode. Why would you take the arrows? Well, the other ones are basically dead already. Or who has you? Yeah, no, I'm I'm awesome. Work's been kind of busy, but it's Friday. I'm enjoying the weekend already. I slept in until basically noon today, and then I went to the gym. Gym was nice. I did my squats. Didn't injure myself, so that was awesome. Are we done? Oh, so pretty. Oh, we're not even close to done. Jeez. This is a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be. Ooh! 
I'm so used to, like, trials and, like, single boss fights. Is everybody in? Oh my. These are dying really easily, though. Very good. I love this. It's so pretty. The next part of this adds a spawn in the boss cone. Provoke it out of the cone. Okie dokie. I'm like, there's my button. I will do my best. Pretty big ghost ship, I must say. So we don't want it to like suck it up in the void. It died before it even got there. But basically we need to put them- oh, there we go. Come here, come here, come here, come here! There we go. Okay. Easy peasy. Is that a mouth or a belly? No idea what this 
Breacher actually looks like because there's so much shit going on screen. Black Lug. Black Blend? I don't think that's friendly. Do I go touch it? Is it exploding? I can't. I just saw somebody just get completely demolished. Whee! Oh, come on, give me greed. You don't think you've ever seen the ball explode? Did you guys just level the boss faster before it explodes? Oh! Oh. Naga? Huh? What is it? Uh, when the blossom splits up, each tank pulls one out of way to make sure no tether shows up between them. Okie dokie. Thank you. I forgot we're playing with other people. And thankfully, they've waited till I watched the cutscene. Thank you kindly. Ready to boogie. And I think you guys have said that you can turn off all of these like lights and colors if it's too much. I'm not going to, but it is an option that you only see your own ability. Points for creativity. I have never, I can't say I've seen any creature like this before. It's uh, definitely, definitely unique. The other time, I the other two too close. I noticed it was trying to like get to them. They wanted to be friends. This is why you heal. No! Healing is so much harder, in my opinion. It's too much pressure. You gotta actually not die. I take hits either way, so if I take hits as a tank, it's more socially acceptable. Even though I know, don't step in obvious shit. I 
I looked away, I swear. Well. This game's cheating. Lag hacks. Insert some other thing to blame. falling apart, actually. Ew! But again? Okay. I can only take- okay, please, I'll take you. Oh my god, I'll take you then. These fucking guys! There's, there's no coordination when it does split. Everybody's like, okay, which one am I the closest to? That's what I'm doing. Uh, and sometimes we tag the same one. I think that went well. Well done. Oh! So cute. So cute. Well done. Hi, James. My character's outfit? Absolutely, I can show you. ABC from left to right. ABC. No, that much I get, but the guy, I don't know. He went, he grabbed the closest one, I grabbed the closest one, and we just had to move. I don't know what that is. Is that a toy? I need the toy. Thank you so much. I'm a greedy son of a bitch. Thank you so much. I'll take everything. The three text bit is a little more obvious, it's easier to position. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you. I received a player commendation. Thank you so much to whoever gave me that. I appreciate it. Yay. Do I get a cutscene? Ooh. Bugger me. I expected danger, but not a hell spawn bleeding nightmare made flesh like that. Did it stop you and your mates, though, did it? That's some crew you got there, and no mistake. That's so pretty. I really like it. I don't know if it's that is their, like, pirate's logo on his back, but, like, I really like it. Ooh! I'll take that. Right then, let's have a look inside that dirty great coffer type thing. Someone tells me it's filled to the brim with booty. Don't look at me. I never moved a muscle. Stasia, there's no way you can move the entire boat. <laughs> huh? It's like a gargoyle. What in the seven hells is that bastard doing? I don't think he's asking us for tea. Uh This way, swiftly now. What cat? Uh can anyone else see the talking cat over there? Bloody hells, this adventure is getting queer by the minute. Still, I'd rather take me chances with a paddle and push to stay here. Get your things, mateys. We're leaving. But what about the loot? Take it with you! Can you not carry it? You can't spend it when you're dead. Either, we either follow the furball or make friends with a spell slinging void board. Your choice. Okay, fine. God damn it. How is an honest sky pirate meant to make a living? I think we need to move faster. OK. 
Okay. Hidden sh What a silly looking kitty. Yeah, I don't know why he's mad. We just kind of, you know, infiltrated his home and beat up his friends. Chains are binding the ship, concealing something. Well, that's nice. The ship's breaking up. Is he trying to bring her down? No. I think he's, he's entering the next phase. Ah, see? There was something in it. I told you. said is attempting to initiate a dimensional displacement, but the gate, it can't possibly be large enough for the entire ship. Coffin. He takes it beyond our reach. Queen. Okay. So many questions. What do we do now? Where there don't seem to be much point hanging around here. Let's go back to solid ground. Why did we send the queen into the void? a bit touch and go in places I grant you but here we all are and all our bits still attached this calls for a flaming flagon of hold on ain't we missing someone didn't I tell Utada to wait here for us never fear we've been keeping the girl company <gasps> oh no but enough about her did you see the cannon on that ship as you know, my dear Lawford, I am not easily moved. But the sheer power on display set me all a quiver. Well, I hope you're content to admire it from afar. That vessel ain't for the likes of you and me. Do not presume to measure me by your own limitations. Besides, I believe I've shown how resourceful I can be. Which brings me to the, neatly to the point. You have in your possession a device capable of tracking the ghost ship. Hand it over, or your engineer shall suffer the consequences. I mean, she could just walk away. She's just standing there. Oh, well.
Perfect. A compass pointing the way to my just reward. A weapon like that belongs in the hands of the one with the will to use it. Come, lads. Our business here is concluded. Bio, how dare you? She's perfectly capable of running her little potato legs. I'm sorry, Captain. They caught me off guard. You get a bang on the head or something. A man I know would never give it to scum like her without a fight. Unless... His fucking smile. It's so devilish. Uh -huh. What did you do to the compass? Who, me? Not. Besides slipping a link pearl into its casing, like... Haha! -ha, so long as Radlia keeps it close, and you can be damn sure she will, we'll know exactly what them thieving bastards are planning. Anyone care to wager how long it'll take to for her to notice my little gift? That's very clever and all, but how are you proposing to stop her from getting her hands on the derelict and its great big cannon? That's Friday. <laughs> I ain't worked that part out yet, but I expect you'll start with keeping a close eye on the talons. Before we get into any of that, though, I've got some questions that need answering. And you wish to know more of the Void Ark? The ghost ship, as you call it? Oh my god, he has a little cape! He's so cute. Uh, the Void Ark, so that's its proper name. Aye, I'd like to hear whatever you'd care to tell us, puss. And I, for my part, am curious to hear your stories. Ere we continue, however, I must insist that you address me about my, my proper name. Okay, so, there, there's a whole thing on this. I... I know it's not pronounced Kate Sith, it's pronounced like... What is it? Like, Kachu or something? There, there's a different pronunciation for it, somebody spell it out for me and I'll say it like that. Uh, I will not respond to puss or cat, and most decidedly not furball. Catchy? Okay. I was like, it was it was something like that. I know it's not pronounced Kate Sith. <laughs> okay, we'll call her Kate She. I'm like, I know I've seen her before. I couldn't remember if it was in uh, Final Fantasy VII. It's been so long. Cat she, that she shall be. Yeah. I was like, I think I know you. But I wasn't certain. I wasn't certain. That's why when Meerkat said this is another, like, a nod, I'm like, wait a minute. Is it Final Fantasy VII? <laughs> <laughs> Yay, it's cute. The Sith that deal in absolutes. <laughs> How fun! A Diablo summon. Oh, that's cool. You don't know any of the callbacks? Oh, Final Fantasy VII is so good. That's on my list of games to play, too. My tale begins long, long ago in the city of Mak, which once stood in the lands of Yathim. Oh, here we go. It's, a, it's story time. Hi, Enzo! A new job. How many jobs do you have now? She's so cute. She's so cute. The sorcerers of Mach were masters of destructive magics, and they brought that terrible power to bear against Ampador and Nim in the War of the Magi. The titanic forces they unleashed, however, took a heavy toll upon the land, ultimately resulting in a colossal flood that drowned in the realm of Eorzea, a catastrophe which my master, High Void Mage Caesar, was wise enough to foresee. Wait, wait. Colossal Flood? Are you talking about the Sixth Umbral Calamity? Hmm. I suppose you would know it as such. Now where was I? Ah, yes. When they learned of the fate that had awakened them, awaited them, the Maki Magi began construction of a gargantuan vessel that would bear their people to the skies and to safety. The operation of the Void Ark, as the ship came to be called, was entrusted to Caesar. Prior to that, of course, my master had been a prisoner in her own home, confined for her outspoken opposition to the war. So the Ark was meant as a sanctuary? Then how did it come to be so, uh... I mean, what happened to all the people? And where did all the Void Scent come from? 
By what power do you imagine such a massive craft remains aloft? The energy acquired to raise the Ark was siphoned from over a thousand otherworldly servants sealed within the vessel. <gasps> they sacrificed all the people to power the ship? What? Yes, no? The Voidlings. It sucked their life force. That was not intentional. That was an unfortunate consequence. Well, that fucking sucks. That's what she said. That's inappropriate. They use the Voidlings as a power source. They, of course, revolted, as you can imagine. Yeah, totally. Uh, yeah, me, me neither, Meerkat. <laughs> Advances in Maki sorcery... Machi? Maki sorcery were made for but one reason, and one reason only. Cataclysmic destructive power. And the swiftest and most dangerous method of acquiring that power was through the enslavement of the void set entities. Okay, we got there. I, I asked the question right before I read the answer. Maki? Okay, I will do Maki. So, oh... So, did they... Are the Void Scent summoned? They're not, like, native to the, the land, right? They, they're summoned and then sacrificed? Basically, two empires, a Black Mage Empire and the White Mage Empire. Ah, they are from the Void. Oh, and the Void are where the Asians are from, is what we call the Void now? Which we're learning because the Void, like... There was a, a world there that blew up, etc. Goodness! The Void Scent are from the Void, and they get summoned. So these people, in this Ghost Void ship, summoned them, and then fucked them over, basically. Right, yes, Meerkat. Yeah, okay. So the war happened after the Void became the Void. That is my guess. Question marks. <laughs> I need to put make an overlay... That, you know that meme where that lady is, there's like calculus behind her head? I just need to have the calculus symbols to start floating. That's on my list of things to do. <laughs> okay. So, the creatures on the derelict, they broke free from your master's control? At the very heart of the Ark, the Void Mages had entombed a great ruler of the Void Scent. Oh. Sketch? Sketch. The Shadow Queen. If I'm pronouncing these names incorrectly, please let me know. Uh, the Shadow Queen. I would love to see what the Shadow Queen looks like. But in order to control so potent a prisoner, a mage of, adam of adamant was acquired. Ooh, okay. And being Mach Mach's preeminent sorcerer, Caesar was deemed best qualified. Were it otherwise, my master might never have been released from her own imprisonment. Scathach. Scathach. Scathach? Scathach. I need to write these things down. Wait and see. I can't. I need to ask too many questions because i that's just how my brain works. Okay. Even with Caesar's peerless skill, the Shadow Queen would not long be subjugated. One after another, the lesser void scent awoke and ran rampant within the ship. In the end, Caesar and 53 Void Mages aboard the Ark sacrificed their own life energies to return the Fanes to their coffins, leaving me a lowly familiar to watch over a derelict prison. Well, that fucking sucks. Skaha? 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 I can Google it. If I remember me Umbral Era's right, the stuff you just described happened more than 1500 years past, which is a good while by anyone's measure. And since everything seems to have been quiet on board, on your boat, till just recently, I'm thinking something unusual must have happened to wake the inmates up. Am I warm? One day, a void scent that had taken the shape of a bat flew into the ship. At first, it was little more than a nuisance that I brushed away, but the longer it remained on the Ark, it's the stronger it seemed to become. Eventually, I could not contend with its power, and it began shattering seal after seal. That's the Diablo, I assume. Oh, look, I speak. You have faced this bat-winged fiend before. It would seem, then, that the creature survived the encounter and that he intends to celebrate his restoration by liberating his queen. 
Well, that explains it then, except for one small detail, namely, where the queen's coffin went, and after it fell out of the ship's belly, I'm assuming it didn't just disappear, right? You recall the great rift that the Ark's cannon ripped in the sky? That was a void gate, right, I figured. Uh, such a portal opens a temporary path through the void, allowing the ship to travel almost instantaneously from one location to another. The void sent, as you saw, only opened the gate large enough to displace the coffin. As for the coffin's destination, however, that is as much a mystery to me as it is to you. I beseech you, conquerors of the Ark, help me find the Queen's coffin, ere the ward's binding... Scat... Scat... Scaha? Uh, are dispelled. I'm gonna say... Yeah. I'll figure it out. I hate when he smiles, dude. I want to know more about this lovely lady over here. You, there's a character on the wall. that There needs to be a story there. This must to me like an adventure. And who knows what ancient Maki treasures we might stumble along the way. Gods, no. They'll make a nice change from all the Allegan tombstones we've been collecting. Mood. I will help you. I'm not risking me hide for the sake of the realm, you understand, but I'll be damned if I let either Radlia or that bat-winged bastard take the freedom of the skies from me. You... you care only for how you might be inconvenienced? <laughs> if the Shadow Queen were to return, it would have dire consequences for this entire star! Count your blessings, Furball. I said we'd help, didn't I? Didn't she just say she doesn't want to be called for a ball? Before we go rushing off for that coffin, though, there are preparations to be made. You might as well get back to your usual heroic uh, employment, Dahlia. I'll let you know when it's time to round up your mates again. As well. I love her. I love her so much. I love her cape. The dungeon boss Diablo survived battling you the first time any foe survived you. I know. That's that's not a thing. I wish we'd just finished the job. Oh. Oh my dear. The time is nigh, my dear Talons. Soon we shall seize control of the ghost ship and all its power. And rule the skies from here to the ends of the world. Yeah! Mm. What is this look? What is this look? Is she gonna like sacrifice all of her cronies? Probably. That's what I'm guessing. Hidden, I thought you were going to say Shakira. <coughs> this is the end of the first third of the Raid Quest series. Alright! I think that was wonderful. Shall we continue to the next one? Or proceed to the next one? Is Diablo's horny for his queen? Oh my god. I Apparently, we were talking earlier. Apparently, there's like a whole bunch of horniness going on at the Waking Sands. Which I need to go get myself involved in. If Ace Ventura doesn't do it, let's do that instead. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god. It's like, do we- well, we could bother Master Matoya, but I'm, I'm pretty committed to being a Sky Pirate today. I'm not dressed appropriately, but that's okay. You're, you're on Fairy- oh, nice! Oh, we were talking in Discord about the new uh, world that's being created. Are any of you interested in moving? I'm not moving. I don't think I'm moving. I have commitment issues as it is. Uh, I don't think I could commit to a new world. Are any of you going? When was the last time I was dressed appropriately? Listen, I will put on a bathing suit and stand right here. I, I, this is a threat. You, I know how you like the little skimpy armor. You're on Cactar forever? Yeah, I, I think I've, I'm committed to where I started, honestly. You took too much cows, cash in your house? I would love to see your house. Do any of you have shrines to your waifus? I, I need to know. I have a shrine for my husbando. That's literally the only decoration I have in my house right now. Mm-hmm. 
I know. I, I'm pretty stuck too. I don't know. I joined this one at the recommendation of a friend. Uh, my head, actually. He was. He said, just join this one. At least we're on the same data center. And that's where I, I'm, I've been. The next raid is one that's in my Chloe book. Oh, yes. I'm glad. Where is my book? Can I not open it? No. Yeah. Yeah, the Weeping City of Muck. Ooh, fun. I am on Sargantus. You were on Primal, but you quit after being backstabbed. Backstabbed? I'm so sorry. I I don't... I think, honestly, like a solid 98% of my friends list are people that I've met through, to, through streaming. <laughs> so... No, 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 no backstabbing, hopefully, anytime soon. You can visit, but I need advanced warning so I can remove the spoiler posts. Oh, no, that's too much, that's too much effort for you. That's, I, I could never ask you to redecorate on my account. I'm just, I just, I don't know. I'd like to see how people decorate. I, we visited houses before, I think it's really cool. I'll stab you in the front, I'm too lazy for that. How about you just don't stab? I don't, I'm not into that. I don't need to be like, no, I don't want to die. No, thank you. No, thank you. Dahlia, I was just about to fly out to Ishgard and track you down. You remember Kachi, that uh, Maki familiar? We've been working with him. Him? I thought Kachi was a girl. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, on a plan to find Diablos and the Queen's Coffin. They've been void scent sightings from pirates all over, so we know that bat-winged bugger is out hiding someplace in the sky. We just don't know exactly where. As for going about pinpointing the location, Lawford and the feline are bickering over just exactly how. Uh, that's where you come in. If you spare a moment or two, we could use a third opinion and break the stalemate. Besides all that, Lawford's eager to have another hand to help the search. So come over to the Parok as soon as you're able. You know the way from here, don't you? Yes, that's fine. Cats are liquid? Well, y yes. What do I do? What do I do with this knife? It's in my hands already. You can put it down, you lunatic. Show you my apartment someday? I would love to see it. I think I've, I have I know I've showed you guys my apartment before. Oh, do I just take the little teleport? Is that, is that how it works? Oh, okay. Like I said, there's just a picture of Sir I can't, it's cursed. This sounds like a personal issue. Wow, I, see, there's no crystal here. I like it when there's crystals to teleport. I don't know. Alright. Ah, where is this? Am I, am I dumb? I am dumb. This is... I, I keep going after the little quest marker, but that's the MSQ, and I'm not doing that right now. Out of context? I don't know. I don't know. I need to run to the restroom real quick, and then we will go in and talk to Lawford. Give me just a minute. All right, let's talk to our little pirate king. What on earth? Where is this man? Oh, he's over here. Okay. I wish. I, I feel like we all we've done has been in nighttime. 
Like, is it no time for day type yet? Ah. Server type says it's only midnight. I'm like, I want to enjoy this place when I can see. Thanks for coming. The captain and the cat are inside, still having their discussion. Uh, talk to Leofred, will you? Before I strangle the both of them. I hear you. No such thing as day. Damn! You guys are so, like, negative! Although I do think, uh, we play predominantly at nighttime. You have a question you need to do? Oh yeah, you're fine, Twilight. Thank you. All right. Ah, uh, Dahlia, a rational mind such as yours is most welcome. Play reason with this wind-addled brigand. Oh, come on now. He can't be that annoying, can he? If you're here to ask about the Korean's coffin, then you must turn around and walk straight out again. This aggravating furball's turned my mood sour as a month-old owl goat milk. Lafford, Dahlia's come all this way to help us. At your request, I might add. She deserves to hear where we stand in our search, at least. Hmm. He's not my favorite. He's not. The surge has given me ulcers, is what it is. By all reports, the Diablos is lurking somewhere in the heavens, building up his forces. But the sky is a vast dome, as high as the ocean is deep, and we have not the pirates to scour every damn floating rock. That's when I tried my luck with Fradlia. You remember her, don't you? The captain of the Talons? Blonde hair, one eye, stole our bloody compass? You handed it to her! Well, I've been eavesdropping with the link pearl I slipped into the casing, hoping to catch something useful. But all I've heard from her and her story, her sorry crew is snoring and grumbling, and japs about how the Archbishop's holy nethers. Oh my! Oh my! In the end, it would seem we've no choice but to do this the hard way, but a certain Mulin annoyance refuses to acknowledge the truth of it. I cannot possibly hope to investigate the entire sky with this meager handful of ne'er duels. I find my suggestion to seek aid from your fellow pirate gangs a perfectly reasonable one under the circumstances. Ah, stow it, you mangy ca alley cat. You've not the faintest idea of how sky pirates operate. The best case scenario, we'd be locked into a deal to hand over any treasure we'd find, and that's assuming we weren't laughed out of the room to begin with. You cannot assume every man and woman shares your base morality. If we but made the attempt, I'm sure we could convince them of the few of the nobility of our cause. Mm. And so it goes, round and round. Knowing pirates as I do, I find myself siding with the captain on this. But what of you, Dahlia? Any thoughts on the matter? Ah, shit, don't ask me. We should handle this ourselves. We should seek aid from other crews. Keep your silence. I mean... I'm I'm pretty antisocial. I'm I'm the type that's do it myself. I don't like asking for help from other people really. Because that would have required talking to them. I don't think pirates have a nobility clause. Like we just like before all of this started, we we saw some pirates and they were trying to steal from the honest to good folk. Mm, I think we should handle this ourselves. See, even Dahlia agrees with me. We proceed as we've been and try to cover as much sky as possible. Is there- I don't know if there is. I don't know if there is. Like I said, before- when we first started this quest, the thieves were robbing just regular folk. That's not cool. However we tackle things though, we have a long road ahead of us. I'll see if I can think of any way to shorten it. You might as well head back to your adventures, Dahlia, unless you're willing to lend us your experience in another matter, that is. Utada, our chief engineer, has been mumbling about the Void Arc and cursing under her breath for days. Might be better if you could provide some insight onto her dilemma. She is conducting research on the Sea of Clouds, yes? Well, I should rather discuss the properties of the Void Arc than continue with this fruitless debate. I shall see you down there, Jalia. 
I also like how the cat walks on the back legs. Like, he thinks he's peoples. You would just raid start bits, but you can wait until you get through. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll invite you. No worries. You have to wait till I read all my dialogue. It's muy importante. Where am I? Am I even here? Oh, I, I'm still in this, technically, in this zone. Okay. I gotta physically remove myself first. Got it. I'm sorry, which way is out? God damn it. Just get me out of here. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was looking for a person, not a door. Boop. How many phases is this? Or sections, I guess I should say. Three? Is it always three? Your idiot brain is making you listen to the sea shanty too. These shanties are nice. I liked them a lot when I was playing Assassin's Creed. Oh, jeez. Um, it wasn't Black Flag. I didn't- I, Black Flag was okay. There was one other one that had sea shanties, I think. Which I didn't love either. There's always three? Okay. What was the one before Black Flag? I hope this is the right one. Oh yeah, okay. I just want to follow the right quest. There we are. She's so cute. Hi. What troubles you, Mistress Utada? We were told that some matter regarding the Void Arc was causing you no small measure of grief. Oh! better now. The poor cat! She's loopy. My apologies, Kashi. You had the misfortune to enter my field of view just as I felt the intense desire to, to squeeze something warm and furry. Mood. It's this dam damnable ectocompass. I made another one, you see, identical in all respects to the first compass that Radlia stole. But look, it points in a completely different direction to where the Void Arc should currently be. I don't understand what I did wrong. I used the same plans, the same parts. I can imagine that would be infuriating. Are you certain that there are no flaws in the design or the materials? Positive. I've tweaked and adjusted and replaced every single piece, but it refuses to function as intended. I'm on the verge of tossing the blasted thing over the edge. What do you make of this, Dahlia? Uh, I don't think it's broken. Something may have happened to the Void Arc. I have the slightest idea. Uh, I think something may have happened. Yes, the cause may indeed lie outside of the compass itself. We must consider this dilemma from a broader perspective. 
Might you explain to us the principle by which the ectocompass tracks the void arc? It all comes down to etheric signature. I discovered that the void arc is encompassed by the energy of a peculiar composition, so I simply tune the compass to follow its unique trail. An energy of peculiar composition, you say? Of course, the arc was propelled by the siphon energies of the void scent. Could it be that the compass was tracking not the vessel itself, but the eth but the ether of the entities imprisoned within? Makes sense to me. That would certainly explain why the compass now points in a different direction than one we would expect. After all, after all, Diablos and the Shadow Queen are no longer on board the arc. Are you implying that if we plotted a course based on the readings from the Ecto Compass, we would arrive at the demon's doorstep, so to speak? Just so, Mistress Utada. Assuming my theory is correct, we no longer require outside assistance to pursue our elusive quarry. Avan, she's so happy. <gasps> Hi, baby. My doggy came to say hello. Oh, Stasia, what perfect timing. You won't believe the wonderful discovery we've just... Talent airships have been spotted en route to our nest. If it's revenge they're looking for, we best head back and make ready for them. They're coming after us? What for? They already have the compass. Hi, Astro. Hi, baby. Go play. I pet her. I literally sat and pet her for like an hour. We were cuddling, and now she wants more pets, as if as if she's neglected. My dogs are so spoiled. Oop. Truce, Redbill. We need your help to save Captain Radlia. Save. No, no, I think this is a ruse. You, did you see her face when we were spying on her? She had a smirk. There is, there's something that's not being honest here. You, you're one of Radlia's favorites. You threaten my crew, steal our compass, and now you've come crawling to me for help? What kind of unholy mess have you Cretans stumbled into? Aye, we took your damn compass, but it didn't show us the ghost ship. We ended up in some moldy old ruins, lousy with void scent. Before we knew it, some sort of spider demon was knocking our ships out of the sky. Two of us managed to pull away, but we saw what happened to them as they got caught on the ground. If the captain survived the massacre, she stuck there with no wings to fly out again. Um... Why don't you give that Link Pearl a listen, Captain? It might be that we learn if Bradley is alive or dead, at least. I think she's fibbing. Ah, so much buzzing. Can't hear a blasted... Wait, I'm getting some words. They're after the Maki artifact. Damn demons are searching. Hide! And then there's a bunch of screaming. Seems Radley is still kicking for now, but who knows for how long. If those screams were an act, then consider me fooled. I don't think the Talons are laying a trap here. I do! I do! I think so. But I'm a cynic. I think everybody's out to get me. Damn that smile. I have half a mind to relieve Radlia to her fate, but I never turn my back on an adventure, especially when the scent of treasure is in the air, eh? Now tell me where you found these ruins. You'll help us then. You're a good man, Redbill. We left the captain in the Yafim Yafame Saltmoor. Uh just north of west of Mordona. In Yafim, you say? Then you must speak of the ruined shell of Mach itself. Why should Toto's black heart? Could they be after the Null Stone? All of these completely go over my head. What's that, Puss? You think you know what those fiends are after? Null Stone, hmm? Right, Utada. Say that these talons are patched up and then have the Ramil ready to fly. Don't spare the oil. You know I love to hear her purr. This fucking guy. Men in their cars! Dahlia, Stasia, bring the furball to my quarters, and we'll have ourselves a chat about the impending old trip to Mach. Hmm. 
Hold it dear. I'm starting to get my way around this. Hey, where's your time? It's 2 a.m. I'm waiting for the sun to come up. Yeah, I don't know what was going on, but when I took my dogs out for a walk this morning, like, I noticed that their tummies had, like, and their their skin was a little irritated, and I think they must have sprayed something on the grass outside. Uh, so I called the, like, the people who are in charge, point of management, uh, and they're like, no, we haven't, we haven't seen anything, we don't know if they've sprayed anything, so I'm like, well, my dogs are itchy, what do you want me to do? Uh, so they, they couldn't help me, but I'm keeping an eye on them. They've been very, very... Licky and scratchy lately. It's very annoying. I've had a bad. Hi. Right, for a ball, let's hear about this artifact that Diablos is looking for. If I'm to speak of the Nullstone, then I must first explain the method by which Maki sorcerers would bind the Void Center to service. The most powerful. The more powerful the Void Scent, the more difficult it is to manifest its presence in this world. Their own immense strength weighs them down like an anchor, you see, preventing them from breaking the surface of our dimension. And that is why they cooperate with mortal sorcerers. A mage can provide a suitable vessel for the summoning, or rip a large enough hole in the fabric of reality for the entity to slip itself through. And let me guess. The mage forces the Void Set into agree to a pact in return for the invitation to our world. That is correct, but it would be foolhardy to expect such a devious and malevolent creatures to abide by the spirit of even the most carefully worded contract. Thus did the Maki Magi construct an occult device that would more securely bind the Void Set to their will, a safeguard of sorts that, to the best of my knowledge, yet lies entombed within the remnants of the ancient city. Ah. The Nullstone was seen as a last resort. Should a Void Scent break its pact and turn on its summoner, the mage could use the relic to disperse the very essence of even the most potent entity, obliterating it completely. Well, that's a threat. I can't see the Royals of the Void taken too kindly to a threat like that. Seems like those sorcerers were just as ruthless as the monsters they summoned. Tell me about it. When it came to the glory of Mach, the, endless just the ends justified the means. In any event, we can be certain that the Diablos seeks to secure the Nullstone before it falls into mortal hands, and thereby ensure that the Ska Skaha will reign unopposed. Alright, so we know what the fiends are after. But what I don't understand is why such a valuable relic was left behind when the mages knew a colossal flood was on the way. Its value was the very reason they chose to not risk its relocation. The Nullstone is kept within a structure constructed for the purpose, secured behind powerful wards and protected by deadly guardians. And with the rising of the waters, they reasoned that the artifact would be sunk along with the city, far beyond the reach of vengeful void scent. And now that Yafame is more swamp than sea, the demons only have the wards and the guardians to deal with. I doubt they'll be wasting their time down there in the mud if, I, if they didn't have some trick to break through the wards. Aye, it's become a race to see who can, con who can nab the treasure first, which is just the sort of contest a sky pirate lives for. This fucking man. So we slip into the ruins, pinch the relic, and rescue Radlia from right under the fiend's noses. Well, I suppose we could save her while we're poking around for the loot. I'll grab a new compass from Utada so we know where we're going. Check your weapons and pack your small clothes. We'll meet out, out by the landing when we're ready to fly. Totally normal cat. It's a it's a very it's a very smart cat. You had no idea the story was all about exploiting voids and yeah, I feel bad. I feel bad for all of them. 
No! She... She? He. They're so cute. They are so cute. I just... I want to hug her too. Can I hug you? I shall join you in this endeavor to recover the Nelstone, though after 1500 years, I wonder what remains of the city I once knew. I just... I just want to hug. We'll fly directly into Yafim from here. Once we arrive, you'll forge ahead with your band of adventurers as you did on the Ark, Dahlia. Just keep slicing into the depths till you've reached that Nullstone. Hmm, we don't want to risk getting knocked out of the sky like the Talons, so we'd best land a little ways out from the ruins and head in on foot. The Furball says he, he knows the place enough well to guide you, so me and the Red Bills will follow behind on a rescue duty. You concentrate on smashing a path through to the artifact, and we'll check the nukes and crannies for Radlia and Akru. Don't let your guard down once you reach those runes, though, eh? There are likely golems and such in there. What worse than the fiends outside? And we wouldn't want our hero losing our head now, would we? The Weeping City of Mach is now accessible. Alrighty! Who wants to come with us? Well, we... I want to say kick the bad guy's ass, but... Going on adventures! And more tomes. Basically, you get more tomes. Because I'm a new adventurer. Oh, I saw tons of coffee. I don't know why I'm so tired today. I didn't even do very much. I did even... I ate lunch on top of it, too. Alright, so one, two, five. I'm fine with going with five if everybody is still here. I got up at like basically noon. Oh. Hi, Mads! You're presently on a different mission arc to be reunited at a later date. That's okay. How you been? How you doing? How was your week? Okie dokie. If it said 30 minutes, I was gonna nope the fuck out. Mm -mm. 30 minutes is too long for me. In terms of game. <laughs> oh yeah, we were gonna go see Hydlin. Your week sucked, I'm sorry. Let your body naturally rest. I could sleep all day. I can actually sleep all day. It's not good. No, no, no. I, that's... I had a... Back before I, I discovered hobbies... I would sleep a lot. I would sleep so much. Because I didn't have anything else to do. It's awful. Would not recommend. A multivitamin? I take them. I do. I'm just... I need more coffee. I haven't drank enough coffee. Typically by 6pm, which is what it is right now, I've drank in two of these and I'm barely through one. That was so fast! I mean, sleeping is fine, but like, I... I like sleep. I just like to also do other things. I did stay up too late yesterday. but Unrelated, you know. Ooh, that was so fast. I think that's because it's on my roulette. Other people might have a similar book. You've never done this raid? Me neither. Yeah, we're, we're basically joining a bunch of sky pirates and... I don't know if we're trying to save the world. We're, we're basically being pirates. It's cute. I'm gonna die? It's a normal day. Bunfilia Award? What the hell does that mean? You're getting it fast because people need to continue redacted? I don't know what that means! I want to know what it is. Maybe you'll get rescued to safety? Absolutely not. Who is Bunfilia? Who is this person? Frey Return? Is it her? Is it? Yeah, okay. I was like, I don't know. Is it that obvious? Yeah, it is that obvious. You're in a wedding? That's okay. I would like to attend a wedding at some point. 
I don't know how long these ceremonies take. I just, I like watching. besides where I'm supposed to be. I'll take this one. Or all of them, we'll take all of them. I'm assuming these are shortcuts. Me and Zanuck are pretty... pretty close. Reminds me of Quaylag, but Quaylag was significantly hotter. I'm doing this optional side content, I don't really enjoy it. I don't mind. I don't think I I don't think I've done anything that I've hated tremendously. I do need to eventually get through the Palace of the Dead, just for to finish Ida's storyline, because I don't know how it ends. But I think that's it. And I do, I do need to finish my Scholar's questline. Should I be doing something else? Is there anything else I should be killing? I want to run through these? Yeah, I assumed it was just gonna save something. I don't know what that is either, but it doesn't look friendly. Are you soaking that? Anybody? I'll do it. Damn it, we both missed. Fuck. Oh no! Okay. It's supposed to be funny, I don't think it's funny. Now I'm curious if I will think it's funny. My sense of humor is... Some things I find funny, I don't find like really sexist stuff, buddy. I hope it's not, like, silly girl. Because I don't find that. I swear I turned! 
Damn it! Running around like a fucking idiot. I'm so sorry. It's fine, we're fine. I mean, I was assuming the gooey stuff is gonna help you from getting sucked inside. Big brain. Good job, team. I don't know what this guy's doing. Oh, Twilight, you poor thing. Here we go. Turn everybody's names off on accident. No. Just following the crowd. No idea where I'm going. Okay, is that just gonna stay like that? Or is it just gonna stay mossy? I got 
side. What is that? Oh, I'm not marked. Quickly. What about the poor NPCs? gonna get charmed. Okay. Wow, everybody got charmed. Holy shit. Oh, we fucked up. That's it. If you get a red tangle over your head, you must stand next to at least one other person after the ad phase. Make sure to stand in the green or next to green when the boss is casting Mega Death. Jesus. Yeah. We all got charmed. Oh, you guys got charmed. I, I, I sort of got charmed. Interject. I don't know. Do I have a stun? I think I do. Somewhere. I don't know where. I need more buttons. Sort of. Hi, Astro. I did. Shh. Are you? Are you dead? What are you trying to lecture me? I'm just saying. I don't think I have my interrupt on my hotbar. I need more buttons. Hi, Astro. Alright, round two. Try again. Three tanks and all the range DPS couldn't silence that. I mean, I'm not the problem. I'm just saying. I'm like, does he have all of that? I don't know. But yeah, he's fine. Vigo. Okay, I keep seeing this name for Gaul, and it looks like my WoW name. Uh, my WoW name is Fengari, and it, with two eyes at the end. So I keep, I read in the chat that said Twilight was infuri infuriated by poor Gaul, and I read by Fengari, and I was like, what did I do? My brain, my poor, my poor WoW character. My router needs to be put on the table. Don't go over there, Miss Ma'am. Thank you. Good. 
good. See, that was fine. Well done. Very good. this is. How the- oh. Well, we tried. Somebody's always bound to die. Poison mist. Megadeth? went tremendously well. Most people listen. I'm happy with that. Good memories from the old days. Yeah, people wiping, I'm sure. Hi, Kef! I am. I am tanking. But Ophelia says she can't wait for part three. I don't know what that means, but I'm frightened. It's not Weeping City if someone doesn't fall to their doom. <laughs> Fucking. And what group am I? I'm C. I'm going over there. Come on, friends! It's like it's like kindergarten. Come on. Friends, come on now. Come on, children. Come to Mama. Thank you. I don't know how this goes. Oh, it can't be that hard.
Easy peasy. In pyramid form, don't stand on a rectangle until after the big attack from the cube. Tank stand close to the corner and don't move. The boss will lion fire attack so that can hurt others. Okay. Okay, okay. A, B, C, A, B, C. Okay, how were you doing? You didn't die, we were fine. You are dead. Bio, how the fuck are you still dead? Come back, Get, come back to life. How, like, how the fuck did you die? Fighting a, a an orb? How hard can this be? He tripped. Jesus Christ! There's so much chaos going on right now. Okay, cube. Hi, Duke. How you doing? Our tank healer drought just as bad as the final fantasy of fourteen ended in a while. I don't think so. I think more people play healers. Ah, okay, that's easy enough. Nobody likes DPS cubes, but I think. There's a lot more diversity in this game. I'm good! I'm kinda tired, I haven't finished my coffee yet. So I'm like, trying to chug. You know I started as a black mage, that was my first class in this game. It was really hard. So I switched to summoner, and then now I've switched to tanking. And I've been just partying on the, the Dark Knight. Did we fuck up? This place is so pretty. It seems that a lot of people play the Black Mage. Like, people always seem to really like it. Do you? Do you play it? But every... so far the classes that I have played, like, the stories have been so good. I kind of just want to level them just so I can enjoy the story. The class quests. Ozma is from nine. You know, I don't think I played it. Don't look at the light. That's bad. We keep jumping into portals that we don't know where they go. It's quite frightening. So like ominous. For those, it seems that there's a lot of people who are like really big Final Fantasy fans who, you know, you can pick up the references that this game makes for older games. Uh, do you watch other Final Fantasy streams? The playment of other games? Play of things? Playing of other games? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can shoot me, that's fine. what you were saying about standing in the corner, the opposite corner. I think that went well. You got yours, my stream is the only explosion in this game, but what about like the other Final Fantasies? There's like 12 more. Oh! Quality fuck! I died. I, I jumped down or something? I don't know how that happened. I didn't know you could move forward. Thank you. What? 
We've got 14 more mainline games. Yeah. They are, they're more RPG and this is more, this is ammo. It's totally different. It's totally different, man. Ah, shit. I'm Menendee. Oh no, I'm petite. Oh god, I'm so tiny. Well, I tried. I'm now full size. Sorry, Twilight. That wasn't even the final boss. You played the hell out of Final Fantasy 13. I feel like people don't really like that one. The last boss was a bastard to ever beat him. Aww. See, I was like that with Final Fantasy 10 because with the first time I played it, I was like 13 and I didn't understand how the game worked. And I like, I totally just... My, my first playthrough, I didn't get past, like, the first zone. Uh, eventually, you know, I sort of read the directions and learned how to play. And then I be was able to finish, thankfully. Mm -hmm. Ooh, she's sparkly! He? She. Oh, my. Okay. Watch her arms get bigger. Why do you wait? Alrighty! I love her hair though. It's so like tentacly. you to spend like 100 hours in the second to last zone. Okay. But you never did. You practically probably end the level. I mean, even in, in my favorite game, I've never done the grind to do end game content. Um, it's, I don't know. Certain things are worth grinding for. A reputation trophy. Not reputation trophy. Like a like an Xbox achievement or a, an achievement in game is never, never never appealed to me enough. Like, I need some kind of reward. Like, a, I don't know. An item amount, a tro I don't know, some kind of other trophy in game. Um, otherwise, I just, I can't be bothered. That's why I never did Blitzball. Good time we're in FF7 made it. Literally max time. That's crazy. I've only played Final Fantasy VII once, the original game. Once through, um, I've not played the remake. That's on my list of games to play. Um, but yeah, I'm curious. I'm curious what they're gonna do with the story. But yeah, I've never, I've never fought in the, I don't know, it's not called Omega Weapons in that game. Like the red and the, the one that was underwater, I don't remember what the boxes were called. If you beat Blitzball enough, you can get the ultimate weapon. I never did it. I never did it. I never got Waka's ultimate weapon. Never, never. Emerald weapon. That's what it was. I was like, I remember there was something. I went in there. I, I even watched a video on strategy because I was I was curious. And it's like somebody was like, oh, you need to have one character be dead and one character be alive and this and that. And I'm like, 
I, I, I can't. I, I don't have the patience for that, that level of technical gameplay. Uh, I just want the story. I'm, I'm very story. -driven. The ruby weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ruby and emerald. That was, that was something else. Oh. Yeah, no. I I did get Knights of the Round. That was that was an accomplishment for me, and that was the extent. Of it. You need at least one story beat per hour. Well, within reason, you know. I'd like story, but the grinding should be optional. Yeah, for optional content, extra stuff uh, for people who are doing that. You beat Emerald Weapon, did really? See, I, I love watching people play and do that hard work content. That's actually what, where I met Uni. Uh, he was doing like a sphere grid run, like it was something stupid, like Kimari only. Um, and I was just like so impressed, and I was just like, who does this like stupid shit? And I was just, I was like, okay, this is cool. Like I, I like watching it because I will never do it. Hell no. But I watch other people do it. <laughs> You enjoy challenges, and I like watching them. Yeah, it's, it's, I've challenged stuff. I'll, I'll watch them over here. I don't. I'm not a very patient person, so I can't actually do it myself. Bye, bye, lady. Ooh, is that the the null null something null stone? That was easy. Thank you. I think that went well. Look how cute we look. Which explains my current relationship. Oh no. <laughs> For those of us still new to Fizzy Lore, who is the person you were referencing? Oh, Uni. Uh, he's a streamer. He streams like once every month or so. <laughs> uh, but yeah, one of the first friends I met on Twitch. Um, he's really cool. He does he does challenge runs and stuff. I think he's doing. What is he playing now? Metal Gear. Thank you! Oh, he's playing Monster Hunter. Who knew? <laughs> that was easy. Thank you! So this is the Heart of the Ruins, eh? You've done a fine job dismantling the defenses, Dahlia. I only wish we could say we had the same success, but Radley and her talons were nowhere to be found. Yes, it's quite distressing, but we must focus on claiming the prize at hand. The Nullstone is ours. Mahahaha! <laughs> You've left me such an inviting tale of destruction to follow. Who is this? Who are you? And I see you found the relic then. Wonderful. Lord Diablos will be so pleased. And look here, you've brought a gift as a thanks for all your hard work. Fer Ferdiad? Ferdiad? Who are you? Those horns look pretty menacing though, ma'am. Oh, you can keep her. She's hot, though. Oh, dear. This is the lovely lass that you've been oh so desperately seeking, isn't it? Unless you wish to see her rent limb from limb, then you'll hand over the Nullstone. I feel like she had planned something. I feel like she had planned something and it went awry. See, what is this face? She's making a face. Oh! <gasps> 
You think I care about her worthless limbs? That woman said not because of grief, and I just sought to crow over her grave. Is it a bluff? Are we calling a bluff? Don't give me that look, Radlia. What? You thought I was here to save your sorry hide? You've never been up an obstacle to me. Do you remember the first time we met? You were roaring with laughter at the sight of all of them Allegan relics until I used your pretty blonde head as a stepping stone. Damn you, you selfish bastard! And damn me for expecting you to act any differently. If I had my weapons, I'd throw a bloody hole in your belly. Have you forgotten how awful a shot you are? Not much of a threat when I've seen you miss the side of a cathedral at ten yards. Yikes. Silence, you grinning fool. You've ruined my moment, and now I'll ruin your smirking face. Now, puss. Ooh! Shiny. Ah! It burns! This world is not your stage, ho unholy Harlequin. Be gone from our realm. Clever face, farce mortals, but the show is not over. Not until you scream. The bugger got away, and I think we'd best do the same. Oh, thank you for playing with us, Twilight. Now, that was some excitement, wasn't it, Dahlia? Probably a little too much for Radlia, but we gave her a bed to sleep off the worst of her ordeal. She'll likely be back to her usual cheerful self in no time. Quite a successful jaunt, all told. You and me, we'll make a pretty good partnership. But I've got words for you, Furball. You said that relic obliterated void sent completely. Seems to me that Bobbish Vane just got scorched before he slipped away. Oh, that. That was scarcely a fraction of the Nullstone's true power. Once I've learned how to unleash its full potential, such demons shall be consumed like gnats caught in a bonfire. So you're telling me our secret weapon ain't ready for battle? You might as well be wielding a blunted sword. Might I remind you, this blunted sword stung our foe sufficiently to flee the lady, lady pirate? A result we could not have achieved without, with your blustering words alone. Ah, I was ready to flee without Radlia if all things turned for the worst. But you're right. You had the presence of mind to take advantage of my bluff, and it was your actions that saved her in the end. I knew everybody would be fine. I, I knew completely. Yeah, I knew we were all behind. If you gather all the fizzy balls into one place, you get to summon her in golden form? What on earth? Make sure to grant permission to all the Twitch plugins. What Twitch plugins? The freedom of our skies. Oh, they look like... Oh. They look like they're gonna get along really well. Like when they when they turn away and start pouting, you know it's a, for a nice positive relationship. Uh, we might be waiting a while before Radlia finally decides to wake up. 
but not so long that you've time to flit away on some other adventure. Come and join me in my quarters, and we can ask her a few questions as soon as she's ready to talk. Ooh. I finally got my understanding of which way is right and left. Oops. Uh, not that way. Is she in here? Oh, yeah, she- oh. Hello there, Dahlia. Might as well make yourself comfortable while we wait on Radlia. Besides, after finding through the ruins, I'd wager you could use the rest. I like the ruins. It was very pretty. You're welcome, I think. We- we did just sort of let you get beat up, though. Where's the rest of my crew? Surely there were survivors. We couldn't save a single one. Oh. Tell me, Radlia, what drove you to risk exploring the old Maki? Old Maki? Um, the compass sent you there, I. But you were after the Void Ark. You knew something, didn't you? I found a book. We were looting these strange ruins in the Sea of Clouds, and one of the lads dug up a tome. It had passages that described the Void Ark, and it's a powerful relic called the Null Stone. Mm -hmm. A tome scribed by a Maki sorcerer, mayhap. Captain, would you happen to know the author of this work? The words are muddled by obscuring magics, and 1500 years have faded its pages. There is much that remains illegible, but what little my darling cutthroats and I could decipher suggests it was written by a mage of exceptional status. Hmm. See for yourself. If what the book says is true, the Ark is source of an immeasurable power. With that ship under my command and the mysteries of Mach in my possession, I had thought to crown myself the Queen of the Skies. And look how well that turned out. What manner of sky pirate? What manner of queen? Can't even keep her own crew alive. <clears throat> Radlia, is it not? Would I be correct in assuming that you seek revenge against the Void Scent who slaughtered your comrades? That is a yes. Of course I want revenge. That hellspawn shit gobbler killed my crew. If we he were here right now, I'd gouge out his eyes and choke him to death with my bare bloody hands. You are not alone in your desire to bring an end to these abominations, Captain. Will you not join us in our endeavor to secure peace for the skies? Will you not join the Talon's strength to ours? What strength. The way things are now, I doubt I could keep the peace in a monastery. Aww. This has not to do with personal grudges either. I just don't have the men. All my best fighters died in the ruins, and the dregs that are left are scarce sharp enough to be called talons. Did you leave your spine back in them ruins, Radlia? You've had your wigs clipped, and no, and no mistake, but that's no reason to give up on the life. I thought we'd rescue a sky pirate, not some cur that turns her tail when her pack ain't there to bite for her. <laughs> We're being so mean today. <laughs> I know what you're trying to do, Redbill, but I've lost my taste for glory. You can have the cursed book. Just be sure to make the bastard pay. 
Aww, I wanted her to come with. But I can understand why she hates us. And everything else. Hey, Furball. How quickly do you think you can decipher that radio tome? I need to figure out how exactly your relic works. I, you sense that one fiend squealing in fear, but that ain't enough. From what you've told me, we'll need to aim for something, some of that obliteration if we're going to take down the Shadow Queen. I can't wait to see the Shadow Queen. The rest of you, put everything you've got into what you do best, and be that research or blade work. Overdoing it is doing it right, if you get my meaning. What are you up to, sir? I'll decorate my walls with void set heads if I have to. The skies should belong to no one. Oh, I want to know of this picture. Who are you? Maybe if I talk to him, he'll, he'll say something? Extra dialogue? Oh, the bat. Diablos. Oh. Hmm, the Nullstone hath fallen into mortal hands. A thousand apologies, Lord Diablos. I shall personally wring each and every one of their scrawny necks. The time for sulking in shadows hath ended. I am grown weary of these meddling vermin. The power of the Shadow Queen waxeth full. Soon, mine ardent desire shall pass from a dream into a dark reality. Where is this? Is this- this is not still aboard the ship, right? <laughs> they turned into zombies, then they exploded into green goo, then they were tracked through a giant sentient ore by a group of 24 people and one cat. It's, it makes it sound so ridiculous. Where shadows reign. Ooh, we get orchestration rules. Hell yeah. Dahlia, Catchy just sent me to find you. You have a proper knack for showing up at just the right time. You know that? Anyway, Catchy cracked open that tome that we got from Bradlia and has been studying the Nullstone secrets. He thinks he may be onto something important. Not just concerning Diablos and the Shadow Queen, but also the cat himself. Come on back to the park and we can hear what he has to say together. The best one is going to be keeping a death tally. Oh, is it going to be hard? I'm nervous. Actually, yes. Okay. I'll do my best. I might need some more coffee. Let me grab another cup of coffee. I will be right back.
I'm so sorry, I went to grab some more coffee. Hi, Sarah! What's up, guys? Welcome, welcome. We are playing Sky Pirates, that we are. And coffee, I got tons of coffee. I even brought a cookie! What were you guys playing? Were you guys still in Persona? Ugh. I am about to beat up the bad guys. We're doing fabulous, Freya. I think we've only wiped once. You refuse to play this? Why? <laughs> Friends, Sarah is awesome if you haven't gone to see her. Super chill to watch. Has great taste in books. Because <laughs> my friend loves it, so I'm doing it to spite her. <laughs> see, I used to not play MMOs because of the stigma. Now I've, I've been doing MMOs and I never look back. Nearing the end? What are you going to do next? What's the next game? You should join us in this. There's tons to get distracted by if you enjoy distractions. I do. Like, all of this is completely optional, like, side content. It's great. <laughs> yeah, and we met um, a wonderful little throwback. Our little, our little cat friend who's standing in the middle of the table. Very, very cute. Lizzie needs a streamer to watch play early Final Fantasy. Yes, I need to feed off of other people's tears because that is socially acceptable to do when this game is 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 being played. Yeah, I think I, I forget who were, who I was watching. Amile, she was she she was playing early Final Fantasy. Uh, she was in Little Alamigo and she was getting lost. Everybody gets lost in Little Alamigo. Almost done with the main game. You should! You got the DLC too? That's probably another ton of hours too, isn't it? I know, back back when I first started streaming, uh, I used to play Warframe. That was that was the first game I ever streamed. Uh, I would take like a break, because so, my, my stream was a lot more structured back then, I think. Uh, in that I would stream for like two hours and then take a break. Like a, like a, a cookie break is really what it was. And then come back and stream another two hours and call it a day. Um, I I have a huge addiction to cookies. Uh, and going right now for a cookie break. That's why I have the cookie emote. Uh, it's a cookie break. We, we've come full circle. Uh, we're actually going to hit our three-year stream anniversary coming up next month. I'm trying to figure out what to do for that. Um, I want to do, uh, not necessarily something big, but like maybe play more, play longer. I don't know. Uh, if you have ideas, stream anniversary ideas, let me know. You're always lost. Mood. Always lost. Always sidetracked. Mazel tov. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah. That's crazy. Man, I, I eat so many cookies. Like, I wonder. Like, my lifetime tally of cookies. Three years! Yeah, can you believe it? My stream has changed a lot over three years. I've moved four times. <laughs> Four times since I started streaming. I used to stream sitting on the floor of my apartment. So we've, we've definitely come a ways, but yeah. I'm gonna, we're, we're overhauling my stream room again. New computer. We are playing, oh, I didn't say, there's a straw poll going on right now to choose the game I'm gonna play on Saturdays. So we stream Final Fantasy 14 on Fridays and Sundays. Saturday is kind of the, the oddball, kind of like the wild card day. Uh, currently, I think Ori and the Blind Forest is in the lead, so if so, if it wins, I will be playing that tomorrow. I don't know how long of a game Ori and the Blind Forest is. Uh, I really suck at platformers, so that's going to be something. Thank you, Freya. Thank you so much for voting. Three months later, and maybe that PC will be up and running. It works! I will have you know. It works. It's totally functional. The only reason it's on the floor right now is because I don't have a table. Uh, but it, it's running Windows. It has internet. But the internet is... I need to change the wires. It's fine. I don't believe... You don't have to believe me. I don't care. Look at the Squishmallow. Oh my god! I have so many. Do you want to see them? We're gonna, we're gonna sidetrack for a minute, friends, before we begin our pirate adventure. Okay. I'm like, did I do the thing? Okay. So, first we have this Squishmallow. His name is Raul. Uh, he's a boba. Stop! I, 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 just let me share my friends! <laughs> so this is Raul. And then you have... What did we name this big one? I don't remember. Okay. 
This big chungus is from Costco. I sleep on this. It's it's so big and so soft. It was like twenty dollars from Costco. It's it's <laughs> Meerkat, I, I I have that emote specifically because I have the attention span of a squirrel. <laughs> is it a Jackson? I don't know. It says her name is Kaylee. And it says original squishmallow. I don't know. It was from Costco. And it's very soft and I'd like to lay on its belly. I, I spent maybe 15 minutes picking out which one I wanted because there was like four of these that were really cute. <laughs> yeah, would totally recommend if you have like 20 bucks that you're willing to drop on a pillow. <laughs> but yeah, I really need to redecorate. It's just, I'm a little messy. It's fine. Ugh. And maybe I'll actually put some of my merch on display. Like I, for those of you who know my favorite game uh, is Final Fantasy X. Uh, I was cosplaying one of the characters from it uh, last stream, I think. Uh, and I have some of the merch. Like, this is merch. There's pillows in the background. I'm just I'm just really bad at setting up a, a very aesthetic space. My, my, my stream space is very lived in. I'd like to say it's lived in. I'm comfortable. Uh, but I could tidy a bit, let's be honest. We could all tidy a bit. Um, yeah, see, it's good you don't see the rest of my place. I live on my own, so a lot of my house is just like... If I'm, if I'm too lazy to pick up something, it just gets, it just stays there. You know, magic, it just stays there. Uh, so my countertop is currently full of leftover plates. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <sighs> I'm a tad, tad disorganized, but I wouldn't say I'm like a slob. I think that might be a step too far. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, it's it's fine. I'm I'm totally okay with it. I'm totally okay with it. <laughs> like I I don't know. I'm one of those people that you know how like I don't know if it's like really wealthy. No, inch don't shush. No, I'm I like you know the like really wealthy people like the whole minimalist look. I'm not one of those people. I like stuff. I like there's stuff everywhere. Um, it's just it's very homey. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna talk to Catchy. My little, my little kitty friend. I'm gonna read dialogue for a minute. As I suspected, this tome was penned by a Maki sorcerer of superior standing, as well as detailed the methods by which the full power of the Nellstone might be unleashed. Its pages also contain a number of revelations concerning my master, High Void Mage Caesar. If these histories are to be trusted, then it seems that Caesar herself was responsible for summoning Diablos. Why? What I thought you said was Master was opposed to supporting the war effort. Why would she be the one to call upon that backwinged monster? Caesar only agreed to the ritual as a means to bring the conflict to an early resolution. From what I can glean from these passages, Diablos was intended as a bluff, a threat that was never meant to be exercised. But those arrogant imbeciles ignored my master's carefully laid restrictions and elected to unleash the fiend upon Ampador. Amdapor. Oh, <gasps> really? Okay, because we, we've done Amdapor keep. I always say it wrong. Uh, it was when Caesar moved to, to protest this act that she was branded a traitor and imprisoned. Uh-oh. Once they had contained the opposition, the Void Mages studied all manner of other worldly arts in the taloned feet of their new pet. The most dangerous of which was the right for, sum right for summoning that sketch and the method for chaining her power. Yet even after all they had perpetrated, these ambitious fools had the gall to come crawling to Caesar when the coming of the Great Floods was predicted. They begged her to take control of the Void Ark for the salvation of the Maki people. As you saw for yourself, however, the energies of the Shadow Queen bro broke loose and turned the vessel into a derelict nest of void scent. It seems obvious now that the arts taught by Diablos were deliberately flawed. The only saving grace in all this madness was that when that damnable fiend was sealed away by the white mages of Amdapur, I shudder to think what would have ever happened had he been reunited with his queen. Which is what we're trying to prevent now, I figure. So now, 1500 years later, Diablos is looking to finish what he started. 
I thought that bat-faced bastard was just so opportunistic underling, but it turns out he's the main villain behind this whole mess. <laughs> Were Caesar alive today, she would accept responsibility for unleashing Diablos onto the world. As the High Void Mage is familiar, it is my duty to act in her stead. I have deciphered the secrets of the Nilstone, and with its undiluted power, shall erase Diablos from existence. I like your spirit, Puss, but try not to rush in too quickly, eh? Getting yourself killed won't do us, or your master, any good. Wait, 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 wait. No one's rushing anywhere just yet, or have you forgotten that we're still in the middle of scouting for the Fiend's Lair? We've got the compass to go by, aye. But who knows what kind of place it'll lead us with how many demons will be lying in wait when we get there. We fly in with our eyes open, or risk getting slaughtered just like the Talons. Oh yes, speaking of which, the tome made mention of a potential location for... Uh-oh. What is happening? I think that's my cue. Did you think we're moving to them quickly? I don't know. attacking us. Oh, the Horn Man. Lafford! He'll be okay. Ah, behind! He's behind you! Ah, curse you fiend! Oh, kitty! At last. At long last. This is far from over, demon. We'll not allow an abomination like the Shadow Queen to rule this world. Then thou knowest not of ruling. It is might which decideth dominion. But believe what thou mayest, frail creature. You are playthings. Your screams of denial shall amuse me as I send this rock and all upon it to shatter upon the ground below. relationship is a little bizarre, but that's okay. God, is that Radlia? Where has she been hiding that ship? I would not tire my arm with the swatting of so many flies. The Nelson is mine, and there is yet much to be done. I think that's a coward's move, I'm just saying. The smirks, man. The smirks are killing me. Oh, thank you, Neuronic. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for popping in. Hi, Grim! What's up? Call music for the fact that you just got robbed. I know! We've been getting robbed a little too often for my liking. Ooh, well, well. Ain't I a lucky Sarge? Two demons in one day. Found some new dogs to lick your boots, Radlia. 
Is that any way to welcome me back into your life? You needed allies, and persuading our reluctant followers to join in common purpose is a feat only a woman of my charming beauty could accomplish. Yes, I too am a little cocky, just like her. Just a little confidence. And besides, you look too injured to be of much use to anyone. You'd best take to your bed, old man. Let me and your champion take care of the void scent. What, so you can tuck tail and just run again like the first sign of trouble? You'd not even be standing here if it weren't for me. And even with my arm busted, I'm still twice the pirate you are. Cat. Nay, I think you should stay behind this time, Lawford. We must pursue Diablos without you. Time is of the essence, and we cannot afford to wait for you to heal. We must take advantage of Captain Radlia's reinforcements and proceed with all haste. Did the demon drop you on your head, Furball? Without me there to run things, you'll just end up getting in Dahlia's way, and no one's making haste anywhere until we know where we're flying into. Again, Captain Radlia may hold the answer to that dilemma. I suspect that the island where she uncovered the Maki Tome is the very location where the Diablos has chosen to lair. This floating marble I speak of is not a natural occurrence. It was constructed as a haven for refugees of the Flood. The tome makes very clear reference to the island's purpose, and describes in detail the void sent sorcery employed in its creation. As the Void Ark never arrived at its destination, however, the island remained uninhabited. I can imagine no more suitable hideaway for our scheming fiend. Even better, Diablos will not expect us to arrive on his scheduled secluded doorstep. The Talon fleets will carve us a path through the lesser fiends, and we shall strike swiftly into the heart of the confusion to seize the Nullstone. Once the relic is secured, I will use its power to obliterate our devilish foe. As a sky pirate, surely you can understand how such an assault relies on speed and surprise. We cannot have a wounded companion slow us down and potentially doom the entire enterprise. I'd be bummed too. It's okay. So you think you're in charge now, do you, puss? Poor, broken Lawfords, just some dead weight you need to cut away. You know what? I've had a belly full of your mewling in any case. Go on, fly off without me, and see how far you'll get with your thrice-damned Enterprise. Oh, Captain Radlia, compare the direction indicated by the ecto-compass with your navigational records, if you please. I think we'll find the coordinates coincide with the island in question. Certainly, and feel free to board our flagship when you're ready to depart. My darling's large enough to uh, accommodate your adventure and her followers with room to spare. Yeah, I was just about to ask, where is this this island? Denscape? Denscape? Dentist today? Everybody's going to the dentist lately. I think Faye was just there too. Does anybody else want to do this one? Sorry, I have food. We have four. That was so delicious. I love cookies so much. I love chocolate. I need to buy more cookies. I mean, I used to buy them from, like, the grocery store. They used to be, like, $5. Now they're, like, $10. $10 for a bag of cookies seems a little excessive for me. But, I don't know. I could just make them. My cookies are delicious. Mm-hmm. Basically me right now. I didn't take very many from work. Uh, because I'm like, no, I'll leave some for other people. I should be taking more. But my manager was there, and he was watching, and I was like, I don't want to be a fat ass and just take, like, every fucking cookie. I would have taken the whole box. Why are you making this face? Does anybody else want to come with, or we're going to run with probably four? Hidden, you're coming, right? Where's my ready check? Just making sure that everybody's alive. He's, I... I need a little more enthusiasm, sir. Oh, I need a stretch, too. Urgh. Okay. What do you mean, no? Why are you not excited? I'm excited. How many poems do I have? And um, we're fine. I don't know if this is the least... What the? I need something right there. I need right there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And right there. Oh, you're fine, future. Thank you. 
I appreciate you. I really should call my mom. I, I need to call her and tell her that I booked a flight to go somewhere and she needs to babysit my children. And by children, I mean my dogs. <laughs> Whoops! I guess I'll go to Idleshire. I might queue for a minute. Oh, we're already almost there. We have enough healers, we just need more tanks. Hi, Mahed! Mahed, do you want to do a... Oh, we're, we're in queue right now, so I can't pick you up. I think. Or I guess I could pull out, because it hasn't popped yet. Do you want to do Dunscape? You, we've, we've done a whole pirate adventure, my friend. You wanna come? Yeah, take your time. Yeah, we've met... We've met quite a few people. What is that? It's a mud pie. It's a very cute mud pie. Do, 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 do. Good night, Freya. Thank you so much for hanging with us. Do, do, do. I want more cookies. <laughs> I don't need more cookies. I have, a, I have a sandwich waiting in the fridge for dinner. And you'll be so proud of me. I ate a full lunch today. Like, it was really nice. <laughs> it's like, I, I'm, I, don't, I didn't even need a snack because I ate a proper, a proper lunch. I don't do that very often. Eh. You followed up lunch with a big bag with a bag of cookies and a coffee. It's not a bag of cookies, sir. It was a single cookie. A single, single sad cookie. I could eat a whole box. I could eat so many cookies. A whole lunch. I yo I had like a carb and like half a pound of ground turkey. I'm pretty proud of that. Wow. Thank you! It's so rare that I, I cook on a day that I'm not working. Thank you so much. <laughs> like I I'm really good at being on it with my my food when I'm when I have a work schedule on weekends my, my work schedule is like bloop. a pound of cookies I could absolutely eat a pound of cookies at a cake um, I really should eat less sugar honestly but you know we all have our vices and mine happens to be sweets I want to say mine is sweets I don't think I have any other vices, do I? I don't know. That's 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 a discussion for another day. <laughs> oh, I'm so comfy. <sighs> cheese? I wouldn't say cheese is a vice. I would say sweets is more so. I I like cheese. I eat a lot of cheese. Nail polish? Is that a vice? It's just a hobby. Did you see my nails today? If you want to see my nails, I put them on my Instagram story. Socks? Just because I collect things doesn't mean it's a vice. You're doing tech support. Parent tech support? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> did they- did you guys succeed? Was the problem solved, at least? Opens up big book of vices. I didn't say you were vices. What are you- you don't even- you don't even drink coffee, so I don't know what your vice is. Lotion? Just because I enjoy things does not mean it is a vice. I looked out last week and your partner brought a cookie exchange for work. He brought us home two boxes. Oh! <gasps> Cookie exchange? Sign me up. That sounds amazing. Being ashy is a crime. That it is. Everybody should be moisturizing. You can fall off of the sides when the green circle appears, line up with the wall, run from dark circle towards wall. Okay, that seems easy enough. I used to I used to tech support for my parents. Uh, my dad doesn't follow directions well. I wonder where I get it from. Calling your bus. But hey, shut up! We're not gonna- we're not gonna have that talk. When Void Blizzard 4 is cast, line up with the centers of proximity attack. Ice will form and prevent you from falling off. Okay. I'm probably still gonna fuck up because I get confused and overwhelmed. I'm like, oh my god, where was I supposed to do again? But I will do my best. <laughs> Ooh, that's a pretty- that's a pretty mount. I don't have that many vices. 
That's pretty. I want to ride a flaming dragon. That sounds so suggestive. Vice Fizzy. Like, is that why it's called Vice City? I don't know. It looks so cool. Does anyone know where that flaming snake is from? One vice, I need another. The one I have is too small to hold much. Vice? on a boat. Alright, when he said you can fall off. Oh, we're group A. I know how to run to a wall. Bitch, what? You died! You have no place to talk if you're not if you're not alive. I don't take advice from people who are dead. <laughs> I fear a sickness diva. I did not fall off. So Okay, I'm doing fine.
Don't you pull me. I was doing fine. Oh my god, I watched this TikTok of, uh, it was a healer, and I, I, I don't know, the raid did not look familiar to me at all. Uh, but I guess there was empty holes on the platform. Um, and unfortunately, the healer did the pull thing, and then the, the player fell into the hole and died. It was really silly and kind of sad. Like, I don't think you're supposed to do that. I didn't know that you could rescue people and then actually kill them. as well because both parties need to be in combat but yeah you can do with that cool kind of funny i mean i'd be so annoyed if you were just pulling me for shits and giggles and then actually murdered me but then again you then you have to res me so it's still your problem There's more than one tank, big brain. Listen, if you don't want to play with me, you don't have to. I'm just saying. I think I'm quite delightful to play with. <laughs> Even though I stress out my healers. But if you're not stressed, are you playing games? I'm just saying. The healer, I mean, the, the tank seems to be a little eager beaver here. Wasn't even in the room yet.
see, it seems that we're, we're focusing... Why? Oh, we're pulling him to a corner. You don't waste that LB. There was like nothing worth using that for. The circles have to be set in the opposite of the debuff. Ah, okay. I was like, it seems that people were pooling over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw them. I'm like, it's okay if, if other people want to just handle it. Cause there was a guy in chat who was like, if you don't know what it is, just don't touch it. Like, okay! It's just gonna reset now anyway. Oh, does it? I didn't realize it reset for every boss. No idea. I don't think I've ever noticed. Granted, I don't notice it a lot. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, pretty blind. Should have gotten hit by that. I'm on my own game grinding for Hildy and you heard the ultimate thing, you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Look at the pro. What did I do? I, I had, you know, I've only died a very few times, you know, not to brag. <laughs> the Shadow Queen? This is cool. Oh, she looks so cool. I love the diamonds. 
Very cool. If tethered by hand, look at it and slow it down. Chlorophyll's to red, stop moving. Okay. Oh no, she's not. I think that's a thing somewhere. Don't! Okay, fine, don't wait for me. She isn't. This isn't even like the final boss. Wait a minute. We're not even at the final boss. Stop. Falling out shots. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing, but be damned if I don't have an opinion. <laughs> I, there was no way I was making it up that. See, we have to kick Diablos. We have to kick his butt. And then the other guy, the one with the horns. Oh, but she's just so pretty. though it seems that the enemies are getting harder and harder like uh, as opposed to like the first portion the first raid thing how are so many people dead Third raid is always the toughest that's fair You tried. I saw you. I saw you go after that and just completely get destroyed in like two hits. Very good. This is so pretty. Like all the scenery is just. I love it. That's okay. Points for effort and enthusiasm. Matt has a rich history of getting cream. <laughs> See, we need we need a clip. We need the clip command for uh head getting cream pies. How do I like the first boss? The first boss, I only died once, okay? And I did not fall off. Uh, but so far, this boss has been the prettiest. Uh, she is very lovely. Oops. Yeah, so far, so good. What? Uh, sure. Mist Bio, you have no place to talk, sir. Yeah, I think you were dead half the time. They leave because they find it hard. I, with people who are, di I don't want to say stupid, but don't follow directions. I'm sure it can be very challenging. In a I think you. I did not.
dying. Yeah. Just fuck, it's like right there. Just kill it. Oh, we can do it. We can do it. There's two tanks alive. You'll be fine. Beautiful. Thank you. Well done. Apparently. I think that went well. Oh, I was like, why aren't we moving? Okay, there's two more bosses. Alright, Diablos, is there anything we need to know? Alright, I guess we're going. Did you pop in, Zig? Did you? Just make sure to avoid looking at the eye. Okie dokie, I will close my eyeballs. I'll just- I'll just close my eyeballs and then you guys can guide me. I mean, it's basically like I'm playing with my eyeballs anyway, let's be honest. Death Gate. That doesn't look friendly. I wasn't looking, I swear. Look at me, I'm facing away. I'm facing away for fuck's sake. Don't say sure. I literally zoomed in on my character so you can see. You? Shut up. Where's he going? She's so beautiful, though. Oh, her body's gone. So this jerk is, like, sweeping the floor. Now 
where the music gets serious. Okay, the Alvo's hollow. He leveled up, I think. Holy shit, he's not taking a single hit. The fuck? Um, how do we kill him? Hit harder? Uh, what are we doing wrong? Okay, now. What the hell? He just had like overshield or something. I don't think purple stuff is what I should be getting. Oh, Alright, see, I didn't think that was friendly. Fine. Are we supposed to soak that? You guys went inside the game? Were we supposed to go with you, Mahad? I don't even know. We just kind of let you take that one by yourself. That's a stack of boy. Okay. Because I'm like, nobody went with him. Oh my. I'm looking away. There we go. Okay. Shit. Don't want to get charmed. It's okay. Is the other tank dead? Why do I have aggro? Oh, he is there. Okay. Damn, that almost leveled everybody. Done is done. Ah! It's clever. Beautiful. It's like Scooby Doo. Mechanics have zero calories, but you shouldn't eat them. Stop. We finished it! I didn't realize that was the end! Well, that was awesome. Have we opened all the covers? 
Yeah, I'm thrilled. I don't know what that is. I'll take it. Take that too. Uh, I will take all the cards because I'm a greedy son of a bitch. What is this for? Ah. This one can go bad. Why? Good job. Thank you. Honestly, that fight could go really badly. Oh yeah, it seems so. Uh, he hits hard and he has a buff that makes everything he does a crit. That was easier to do, to deal with back in the day when the tanks had roll skill called awareness. What did that do? I'm assuming we're gonna go put in two. Oh, I got two commendations! That's so sweet. Thank you so much. I will, I will take all of that. Can't be crit? Oh, that's nice. That's okay by you. You tried. It was just because I was the last one out. Okay, shh. Do not relax your guard yet, Dahlia. The air is still heavy with this foul presence. <clears throat> He's still watching, the little bat. Already taken care of the fiend, have you? And didn't even need that dusty old relic to do it. Be careful, Captain. Diablos yet lurks in the shadows. Is she gonna get possessed? Is she gonna get possessed? Oh no! Oh, dear. We just beat his ass! What the heck? I thought we won! Oh! No! My friend! Finally, I have claimed the Shadow Queen's power for my own. Yet still am I hurried by you noisome weevils. But my kitty! I must needs quit, quit this realm for a time, and when I've grown accustomed to my newfound might, there should be a reckoning for your insolence. Well, that's a new problem I have to deal with. Please be okay. Please be okay. My little kitty. This ain't time for napping, furball. You've still got a job to do. Boys. Why are we all shocked that he showed up? I'm not shocked. I expected him to show up. Sassy boy. Do it. Yeah. Everybody's getting charred. Fuck. My work here is unfinished. In Caesar's name, I unmake thee, Diablos. My master's will be done. Centuries have I yearned for this power. Thou canst not unmake me. No, no. Fifteen centuries.
Please don't die, kitty. Uh, that was our way out. I should have known we were wasting our breath. The captain only heeds the siren in his heart and damn the consequences. <laughs> I told you you'd be lost without me, didn't I? He did help. And look at you, Puss, getting knocked out cold in your moment of glory. You weren't like to get another chance to honor your master's memory, and you almost missed it. But I suppose you pulled through in the last eye. I'll give you that much. your concern and your lectures. You all knew I wasn't going to stay abed with such a grand adventure in the making. Yeah, and I'd rather break every bone in me body and be stripped of my of the freedom to go where I please. Besides, all's well that ends well, eh? Diablos is dead, and we're all alive. That counts as a victory in my book. It's just a pity that it cost me the Vraymel in the doing of it. I hope she rests easy on that island refuge. What is this? Ooh, I get a scarf. I'm picking it up. Story's not over. Bah, my goggles are a mess, but I can always get me a new pair of goggles. And a new airship. I suppose we should be glad we didn't lose aught else after diving headlong into a void set nest. Now that we're taking the skies back, it's time to that we're taking our leave. The Talons and the Redbills can kiss the Brief Alliance farewell. Unless, of course, you're interested in a more permanent arrangement. I ship it. I ship it. Thank you, Crowley. Good to see you. Uh, your bootleggers might think your voice a siren song, but it grates on me ears like a harpy screech. No, this is the first time and last we fly together. We're back to being rivals, the way it's always been. But I think they like being rivals. I think there's a... Like, the competition makes them both better. And I'm just... I love how they have made her character, like, buff. Like, I, I just really like that. Like, she's not like, you know, just a, a regular model that's scrawny. Like, there's, like, meat on her. I like that. I don't know. Comment. Sorry. <laughs> You're a very stubborn man, Red Bill. But you do well to remember, I always get what I want in the end. What are you gonna do? My little kitty friend. Head back to my quarters and see to the first balls hurts. I'll be along in a bit. I feel so foolish, Dahlia. I demanded that Lawford remain behind, only to have him rescue my mission from a certain failure. A failure that would have made a mock of your heroic efforts as well. You are too kind. Ah, what words exist that can properly express my condition? Contrition. I know not how even to begin making my apologies. I should like to approach the captain, but he has the air of a man who seeks solitude. It is strange to see him so melancholy. Could it be that the loss of the Ramil which troubles him so? Nay, I shan't intrude upon his contemplation with clumsy questions and tried platitudes. Let us leave him for the moment. I like how he walks. It's very cute. I finally got the hang of this. You know, it's been night, 
the entire time that I've been playing. Like, I don't even think I've seen the sun in the game today. What the heck? I gotta remember to come back by here when it's, uh, daylight hours. I need to run to the restroom again. I drank too much coffee. Give me just a minute. Boop. What about me and the coffee? I need coffee! I, it, it helps me to think <laughs> and be like regular people. <laughs> what is this somber music? Mistress Stasia, if I might ask you a question, do you know the cause of the captain's melancholy? Is it because of the Ramil? Pray tell me if it is so. I cannot but feel responsible for the vessel's destruction, and I would better understand Lawford's present distress. Hmm. If you really want to understand, I suppose I should start with how the captain was orphaned as a child. As matters turn out, he was taken in by a high-born widow who raised him as her son. From what Lawford has told me, his adoptive mother was a kind, quiet-spoken woman, but due to some illness or other, she was rarely able to venture outside. Instead, she spent hours reading to her boy from a library while stuffed with books from faraway lands. Lawford cared for her as her malady grew worse by the day, and he was there by her side when her death finally carried her to Thal's halls. Oh, the picture! Yes, okay. She's very pretty. While she was alive, she never did ask much of him. Not long before she passed on, however, she wrung from him one single promise, that he escape the conformity that she had always endured and live his life as free as a bird. Aww. As you've likely guessed, her name was Ramil. Aww. And that's her portrait there hanging on the wall. This explains much. I had wondered as to the origin of this vessel's naming. The Sky Pirate is the way of life Lawford chose for himself, but I like to think he named his ship the Ramil so that his mother would be there to watch over him all of his adventures. Since when are you so loose-lipped about a comrade's private past, Zasia? Oops. <laughs> I'd be upset too, it's okay. I ain't in the habit of leaning on people's sympathies, so you can keep all that tidbit to yourselves, eh? And I thought I told you to see to the furball's wounds. Look at your cape, Puss. It's in tatters. Come here a moment. A scarf? For me? Oh. He's part of the crew! <laughs> He's so sweet! Aye, that's a little present we give to every new Redville. Ramil taught me that it's not protecting memories that's important. It's having the strength to follow your path and make those memories in the first place. Seeing as how determined you were to clean your master's slate, I'd say you'd fit in with our crew. Listen, if you're thinking that little airship meant a lot to me, then you'd be right. But I'd rather mourn the hunk of metal than lose them, uh, as can share in me highs and lows. 
So let's get this straight, Puss. There's no need for apologies. A sky pirate makes his choice and sticks by it. I can't. I can't. The scarf. I can't. A life of a sky pirate, huh? Hmm. As I seem to be bereft of both place and purpose now, I suppose I shall accept your offer. I'm yours to command, Captain. Glad to hear it. Your first duty is to join us in giving our adventurer here a proper send-off. They're trying to get rid of me. Well, it's about bloody time you two saw eye to eye. But honestly, Captain, you don't mean to head out in those rags, do you? Let's get you cleaned up as well before we say any fond farewells. He is a little crispy. I wish the lighting was a little bit better in this room. I feel like he's always in shadow. It's time we parted ways, Dahlia. Let us give you an escort down to Coldwind. Oh look, the sky! And it's not dark! Thank you! Uh, that was some adventure, Dahlia, but our journey into the unknown is over. For the now. Dun dun dun! When the skies spit out some new mystery, you can bet that I'm coming to find you. After all, they ain't nobody else who handles the unexpected quite like you do. High adventure and the heady hush of rush of danger. Surely in this life there is no greater reward. It's questionable. <laughs> I can't. Cat is just, it's adorable. Bye bye! I'm so glad I got a scarf. I'm adding that to my to my outfits. So what did you think? What did you think of the Sky Pirate story? I thought that was really cool. And they had like the Diablo and the really the really pretty a uh, one really pretty boss fight. Yeah, I think that went really well. Good job! Thank you! I liked it! I liked the story. That was really good. Our kitty and the pirates, and it was just, it was just a bunch of fun. Ooh! <gasps> oh. I clicked. Now, now I'm committed. Yeah, that was fun. And, and since this is a raid, it came out in three separate releases, I figure. I'm trying to I'm trying to piece this together, the patterns. And these only have one difficulty, right? Three point one, three and five. And I forget, do they have half? Like two, four, and do they go up to six only? Six, seven? I don't remember what I was doing here. Oh yeah, I was leaving. It's like, where was I going? Oh, look, a fish! I want a fish mount. That's cool. It stops at 4 or 6 or 4 or 5. We always think of the 24 man may raids as LFR, but with actual mechanics and consequences. You know, I tried LFR, and I hated it so much. I, I basically couldn't do any content in WoW that was current. Uh, because I predominantly played alone, and I hate playing with other people. Um, because other people suck, in, at least in WoW. Like, other people are dumb. So, I instead of coordinating raids or queuing in LFR for fucking 45 minutes, uh, what I would do is I would just... I would go to, like, old, old content, uh, and then one-shot everything, and just do that. Like, I've done, I've done all of the meta achievements up until... 
I think I did all of them, including Legion, and I stopped at BFA. Um, because I, I, you don't need very many other people. Um, but yeah, doing actual current content with people who, who need to work on mechanics was just, like, not a thing. You don't do Alliance Raid Roulette? Oh, I guess I- yeah, you're right. Absolutely not. Like, th this is not enough of an incentive for me. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, sorry. I, I will probably never roulette that, ever. Unless I'm, like, really short on something. Which is probably not happening. A player raids are point one, two, four. Oh, that's okay. So you get, you get with every little step, you get a, a, another unlock. That's kind of nice. I like that there's a formula and there's always content being released, like, on a regular schedule. Like, as someone who's, like, has some level of ADHD, uh, schedules and consistency, like, really helps my brain, like, make sense of things. Um, yeah, it helps. You can queue naked and guarantee crystal tower. <laughs> but even still, do I- I don't know if I need it that badly. That's so funny how you can, like, totally fuck with the, uh, the queue with the- with your eye level. Meerkats, I don't remember if I asked you, are you going back for Dragonflight? Right now, endgame is point two and point three will bring out the second current alliance raid, which is Tuesday or coming up very soon, I, I believe somebody mentioned. How exciting. I hope you guys like it. I won't see it probably for another six months, at least. <laughs> How long have I been playing this game? How long have we been streaming this game? Two months? Longer than that? I don't think it's longer than that. 6.25, and it's kind of the halfway point. Oh, okay. Is it like a, a month or so between this? I feel like that's a lot of content to put out really quickly. I swear, this entire thing has been in shadows. Not feeling WoW, you were a key pusher. Oh yeah, and I've never seen WoW release content that was <laughs> any good. That wasn't endgame raids or dungeons. And, and plus, every time stuff gets launched, I, fe I think there's like a... There's a period where it sucks. It sucks for a long time before they make it better, and I don't think they're anywhere close to making it better. How do I know if I've broken my wrist? I feel like my bone is like... Sticking out a little more than I should. should. Four months before COVID, the patches were three and a half months or so. They are now aiming for about four months. I think that's really fine. Because I there's a lot of content to get through, in my opinion. But I, I'm not a veteran. You five volts while I had to walk through the mall intro. They should have a skip. They should have a skip. They're so in debt to me at this point that they could fuck off. <laughs> I... I... <sighs> The, the last- I haven't paid for a WoW subscription. The, la the last time I was playing WoW, somebody had gifted me a subscription for a year. Uh, and I played through a solid nine months of it before I was, like, over it. And, you know, now that my my sub is expired, I've been, like, I, I haven't launched Battle.net. Like, there's nothing on me on there for me right now. So I'm like, eh. You don't think Dragonflight will be fun or engaging unless you are an endgame player? That's- I, I, I don't know if you watch Asmongold at all, but I watch him- Quite a bit, more so for his commentary, um, not his actual gameplay. Uh, but he 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 had a whole video about that. Uh, that like WoW sort of gears its content to people who kind of know life it, who face roll the entire game for that end game content. And it's like the majority of players are casuals. You know, they're they're there just to like, you know, they they work, they have families, like they have only a certain amount of time to play. Not everybody can do end game content. And, but they focus their their content on those players, so it's like those of us kind of in this this middle casual place, uh, like we just we're like, what the fuck do we do, you know? Having more fun doing side quests in Final Fantasy for the lore. Same, same. I'm I'm having a wonderful time. I get tempted because I, at this point for me, like I've sank in, sunk in, sunk. I've put so much time into WoW that it's like I feel like I I'll get left behind if I don't do it. But like. If that's my only incentive, like, that's not that's not a reason to play a game, because you want to collect more shit. Like, it's an MMO. Like, there's always going to be shit to collect. Another endgame content, there's nothing to do if you don't want endgame content. Exactly! Like, I would just truck through all of the, the main story just to be done with it, so I can go do the shit I wanted to do, which is collect things. 
There is no story. Agreed. You want to try a while from what you told me? You're scared to engage it? It depends on what you want from WoW. It depends on what you want. If you want, like, really rich story, it's not for you. Um, if you want a really... I don't want to say a toxic player base, but the player base is, is very strong opinions. Um, the players are not as nice. Um, and generally speaking, people want... Like, everybody's there for their own selfish reason. Like, if you're going to run raids, you better know what you're doing. Uh, because they just straight up won't put up with your shit otherwise. Like, you know, I've met nice people. There's nice people everywhere. But... I don't know. I generally kept to myself for a reason, you know? It's just easier. So much grind, nobody wants to their time wasted by strangers. Exactly. There's... It's not only a grind, there's time gates. Like, I... I want to say grinded. But, like, I grind excessively. Like, doing dailies, like, was like drugs to me i was like it was like drugs to me i i literally would wake up at 8 a.m do all of my dailies before like what was it like i was able to do it before daily reset so i can get like twice as many done like who does this crazy people do this i was crazy um i can't i can't live my life that way it's 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 too much like one of wow's like loading screens um says Everything needs to be in moderation, including World of Warcraft. Like, they know their game is addictive, and that people will spend hours and hours and hours of their time playing it. It is insane. It's too much. There's a lot of toxic in place. People got shit they gotta get done. Sometimes on multiple alts. Hi, Bang. What's up? Welcome to discussion about WoW. That happened to Lost Ark? You know, I've never played Lost Ark. Can you tell me about it? No one has time to do group content with people who don't know their class. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I don't want to wipe on something 50 times. Like, I only have an hour, two hours to play video games. I don't want to do the same thing because some, some idiot is standing in fire. See, at least in this game thus far, it's been pretty forgiving. Like, yeah, I die, but like... I, I'm not doing endgame content. <laughs> But, like, I, there's there's times where I just wanted to see a raid. Like, LFR is for people like me who want to just see the raid. I just want to experience whatever little story. I'm like, oh, this is cute. This is pretty. You know, just kind of run through it. But LFR, people are actively stupid. <laughs> like, like they will purposely go stand in the fire, you know? And I'm just like, ah, I just, I just want to be done with it, you know? <laughs> the game is made around the fact that you have... To have alts. The level of the character you need to get endgame stuff from multiple sources. Oh, that's weird. Why? It's so grindy and then there's a percent chance to level? What? It's random? You don't even earn it? See, I, I'm i not a big alts fan. Like, I have a couple of alts. Um, for the sake of just, like, the experience of something different. But I've never leveled them. I boosted them. Uh, because, like, when you buy, like, an X-Pack, you get, like, a free boost. And I would be like, I'm not gonna fucking level that shit from zero. Like, I... That's too long. That's too long of, of a commitment that I, I don't want to do. Um, so I would just, like, boost it and then learn how to play it as it went. The Ravonis, Sylvanas raid was frustrating in LFR. See, that's the thing. Like, LFR punishes you. It punishes casual players. I don't even think I made it that far. I think the last LFR I did uh, was in BFA, and it was the one... Did you fight Jaina? We fought somebody, yeah. It was it was a long time ago. I stopped. I stopped. There are plenty of videos on people raging trying to get to a higher level on their main, only to see your gear broke or level failed. But why would they do that? Why would they do that? Why would you punish your players like that? WoW raids punish players, period. Loss of food, loss of time, trash reclears. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's so sad. Because, like, I feel like WoW, you know, it's been around a long time. WoW's been around a long time, and it has such a passionate player base. And people get frustrated because, like, you you want to enjoy the game, you want to move forward, you want, you want to see, like, fruits of your labor. You know, you put all this time and effort, you want, like, a reward. <laughs> You want to beat the boss. <laughs> but it's it's lame. It's so sad. 
You can pay money IRL. That's fucked. That's that's fucked. You should not you should not be played with or played a level or whatever. That's so sad. I yeah, I would not play it at that point. Like I know WoW has stuff and I think this game has stuff where you could it's just cosmetic. Like it's just, it looks pretty and looks cool, but it's not you can't work for it. That's that's a whole different thing. Yeah. Wow, wow. I don't want to say WoW was my first MMO because I I used to play RuneScape when I was like in middle school. But at that point, I didn't really understand what an MMO was, really. Like, I played RuneScape, and I just, like... I don't know what I did. Like, I mined and, like, killed cows. Like, I didn't... I didn't actually... I didn't MMO properly. I don't know if there's a story in RuneScape, even. Uh, but... Then I discovered WoW. I was... I was... I was gifted WoW. And I was like... Okay, people talk about this game all the time. Like, I don't want to play it. This is what dudes in their basement play. And then... I became addicted because I get really- I get addicted to things very easily. Uh, especially if it gives me that, like, that, that feel-good hormone, like that reward trigger. Like, oh, I got an achievement. I got a mount. I got- I got maxed out a reputation. Like, that shit makes me feel good, so I just kept doing it. I, I kept doing it so much. It's- it's ridiculous. Final Fantasy XI. The dopamine, yes. Lord of the Rings all online until they got sold and they made Endgame really bad. Oh. And then I hit Star Wars. Thank you! And Guild Wars was all over the place. Time made 14 my home. I do a little bit of Guild Wars, but it's more just like running around and exploring. Wild leveling and just wandering around is fun. All the endgame stuff just feels like a part-time job. Right! It's 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 it feels like work. It feels like work. And I, I would enjoy the running around. I I ran Oh my god, what was that? Where did Ashes drop from? I ran Ashes on three alts for months months to get that mount. Uh, literally. Three times a week. It was... And then I got it, and I was like, thank god. Thank god it's over. Like, <laughs> Tempest Cube. I did it so much. So much. Just to get just to get him out. And then I got it, and it's just part of a collection. That was it. When I hit... When I hit a hundred reputations, I cried. I cried. Um, it was something that I had... It, it was a grind that I had been working on for years. For years. Years. I, I, for years. I, I, for one achievement. One achievement. Um, the amount of time I had, I had put in just to hit that one achievement. I get it. I was like, you get like a title and amount, I think. I don't know. Uh, and I cried. I cried. I, I, I just sat there and I cried. And then that was when I was living with my mom. So this was like a year ago. When I was still casually playing WoW. Um, and my mom was like, what happened? And I was like, I did it. Like, I, 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 there's this thing in my game that I've been working for for years, and I did it. And that, that was the end of it. Like, what now? It's too much. It's too much. I tried to play WoW legitly, and the story is so slow, coming from 14. The inability to change... Classes without having to create another character made it hard to play. Oh, totally. I, I feel like this game... I don't want to say spoils you a little bit, but... There are things it does correctly. Let me talk to Master Matoya. <laughs> you want to know the story? Watch a video. Watch a video. It's significantly better. Uh, Noble has really good videos. I don't think he... I don't know if he does Final Fantasy XIV videos. He might. Um, but Noble has really good WoW videos. What a surprise! Well, what secrets have you come to extract from me this time? See, Master Matoya knows. We're always in for something. Oh, although it pains me to admit it, your words strike close to the mark. We humbly ask that you grant us entry to the Anti-Tower, that we might use it to seek a friend who we believe has been transported to the Ethereal Sea. And who told you that I could do such a thing, I wonder? Yishtabla. <laughs> the tower was abandoned, so its magical keepers... 15 years ago. They have run- they have the run of the place now. If that is no deterrent to you, then by all means. Is that all? I felt sure you would seek to dissuade us from the course, given your role as custodian. Role? Hardly. The foreign voice of the title on me. During the exodus, every entrance to the Antitower was sealed save one. Oh, it's right here? My role consists of making sure no one with ill intent sneaks through it. Such was the forum's final order to me. So she just lives at the entrance. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I can remove the wards right now. Will you be going or not? 
We will, Master Matoya. We will do whatever it takes to find Minfilia. Hmm, we'll see about that. Dahlia can go. Take the magic's magicless rogue too, if you like. He's of no use to me. The rest of you can stay and work, and I'll hear no argument. Those are my terms. <gasps> Thank Grid. Are you gonna put up with that? Oh, and I should be delighted to accompany you. Lead the way, Dahlia. No, no, no. She just said you can't come. You're not allowed. Thank Grid, no. Your etheric flow has been compromised. Do not deny it. To venture into an environment so thick with ether, so close to the ethereal sea, will be to risk further impairment, or worse. But Minfilia could be there, waiting for us. You could die. And for what? If she is be waiting beyond, Dahlia will find her. Trust in her and have faith. That was weird. Damn it all. Bring her back to us. Do they have, like, a brother-sister relationship? Is that what we're getting at? He seems, like, really stuck on her. What is the anti-tower? Is this a dungeon? What the fuck? I wasn't expecting this. Okay. Is it a dungeon? Oh, I wasn't expecting one. I'm thrilled. He said it last episode when he was talking to Kryle. Yeah, I remember. He, he did, like, the whole, like, he could have saved the her father from dying. So it's like, he, he does have feelings for her, but not in a romantic sense. Just to confirm that. How you doing, Nina? Does anybody else want to come with? Room for one more? He's been watching over her. They're, yeah. I think they're close to the same age, too. <laughs> I can tank. It's just a dungeon. I can do it. My dogs are currently still okay. So I'm like, eh. It always felt like a bit of a daddy vibe. Okay, okay. I'm okay with that. The story really doesn't say that. That's okay. <laughs> Astra, Astra, baby, baby, Astra. Miss Astra. Ooh. Will we find Minfilia today? believe oh that's pretty oh my god are we gonna fight frogs do you want to find her I guess if it helps me find Ida and Papa Limo which I just learned are alive I'm thinking they're somewhere in Alamigo um it looked kind of deserty, but I don't know. They could be in a whole other world, for all I know. If the story must progress to find Minfilia once again, I guess we can handle it. I was considering jumping off, you know, I'm just, I just, just, you know, just uh, my head doesn't accidentally jump off. It's beautiful though, the path is beautiful. You're lucky I'm not healing. 
That was planned. <laughs> Future stands between you and I. <laughs> he won't let me die. <laughs> Thankfully. I can't remember if Future's ever pulled me for funsies. I don't think so. I could be wrong. All the raid stuff. This is a cake one. Oh my god, he's singing like Jigglypuff. I don't want to be charmed. Why does everything want to charm me today? Goodness. I don't need it. Oh, mimics! Uh, I did, yes. It's not finished. I'm at like six? Like, can we keep going? No, we cannot. Oh, homunculus. That reminds me of Full Metal. has never done high floors. What does that mean? <laughs> it just reminded me of uh, Dark Souls. It seems like we're in like a witchy, witchy realm. <laughs> she said no. <laughs> I'm frightened. Mimics on the high floors of Palace of the Dead are deadly. I, I eventually want to go all the way, not all the way up, but up to the 50, so I can see the end of Gita's story. Oh, sorry. We'll keep going. Um, but yeah, I don't know if there's any benefit to going further than that, at least for, for my needs right now. doing it once by myself. Just, just to see. Where's the other one? There you, there you are. Um, I think I got to maybe like floor nine. But to, to be fair, I was, I was not paying attention a lot. I was watching TV. 
think I had something on Netflix, and I was paying more attention to that than the actual story. Clear where the hearts leap, huh? Ziggy. Ziggy, you look like trouble. A guy. Ooh. Uh, I'm assuming we need to kill these things. Oh, I do have a stun. I was wondering where I put that. Silly, silly me. Oh, you're trying to blow up the rocks. Because he's gonna fire at you. There we go. I understood. Do I get why it's called Ziggy? No, tell me why. I love this. It's like a library. So we just finished the Shadow of Mockery, and now we are looking for Minifilia in the Anti Tower. Oh, that? Okay, I didn't know if it was like a pop culture reference or like an in game reference. Space just kind of get all jumbled and funny. Oh, so strange. But why? Yeah, all the chandeliers are upside down. That's so weird. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's keep moving. Pick them all up. I see you, you silly thing. Beautiful, beautiful. Is there anything I forgot? Oh. There was one more! Ah, that's so annoying. Ah, okay. I was like, I like to get the whole room. Does anyone play Tank or not play Tank? Uh, play a Dark Knight pretty regularly. I would like an official review of my skills. 
as a kind of a new player, I guess. I don't know. Can I can I say I'm a new player still? When when can I stop using that? <laughs> If you don't know why the anti-tower is upside down, I always assume it's artwork to denote the path of the ethereal sea is weird and mysterious. I was just gonna guess, since it has to do with mages, and time and space is just like a construct of some sort. Ooh, are we at the end already? So quick. I'll sit you down and help you. Is it that bad? Oh! <gasps> Cal Cabrina, adorable dolls, terrible dolls. Yip ho ho. Oh shit. Why? This is not good juju. Oh, thank you. Okay, so they're different colors. Does that mean I have to keep them separated? Keybinds. I do need more keybinds. Uh, Faye actually, uh, he he sent me like macros from my my summoner. I just haven't done literally anything on my summoner. Let's just can we just pick them all up? I can't catch them all. Okay, so these are not actually the boss. Where's actually the boss? Are they gonna fuse? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, they are gonna fuse. Jesus Christ almighty. Yeah, I saw that coming. Welcome to the dollhouse? Are these my friends? Where does it transport you guys? Are you just in this like stupor? Oh. Ah, okay, that's not dodgeable. Oh, right. I did not expect there to be like a naked doll at the end of this dungeon. Uh, maybe like a frog, a fortress. It's a doll. It's so creepy, dude. welcome them do we have you not seen a horror movie i don't think this is wise you love this dungeon i like the aesthetic of the dungeon i thought that was really cool uh <laughs> it was also a reference to final fantasy 4 oh really that's cool is minfilia gonna be here i'm gonna be shocked if she's just here oh the water's upside down too Mama Crystal? 
Absolutely not. Yeah. Feel. Think. Oh, do I have all of the crystals? I don't think I have the whole circle. Did Mama get a new voiceover too? I don't think I've heard her speak this whole X pack. That's not Mama? Minfilia? We are the word of the mother. We who were once called Minfilia. I'm confused. Is Minfilia now possessed by Mama? I'm so confused. Much time hath passed for thee since the bloody banquet. Since, since I hearkened to her word. Mother, Hydelin, guided me towards Yishtola and Thancred, that I might be swept up in their flow and delivered under the ethereal sea. Okay. There, adrift and alone, her voice silent once more, I prayed. For those we have lost. For those we can yet save. To her, I would make an offering. We speak now with one voice. One will. One word. Unto thee, we bequeath the most precious of gifts. The truth which lieth at the heart of this world. Thus do we beseech thee once more. Hear, feel, think. We get our gift back. life in the depths of the ethereal sea light and dark did once dwell as one but the darkness coveted power and the balance was broken thus was I forced to banish him unto the distant heavens to forever remain apart a moon bound. Ah, okay. Okay. In sundering the star did we cry out, and the barriers twixt planes chanced to falter. Across ten and three were we then divided. Reflections of the source, each possessed of a shard. Zodiac longeth to be made whole. For his restoration, for his resurrection, his servants labor without cease. Okay. So, Diorc? They seek to tear down the barriers which surround the source. Oh, I have so Thus many questions. Thus do they rejoice in their ardor, in your calamities. For each marks a rejoining.
Seven times have they succeeded. Seven times hath the darkness grown stronger. Seven times have I failed. The Asians cannot be suffered to continue. This, this is my final. Oh, shit. The crystal's power is all but spent. With what remains, I will return you to the shore of the ethereal sea. Blessed children, go forth and seek. Oh! So she used Minfilia's body sort of as a, a vehicle to speak with us, but is Minfilia lost to us now? Like, the person? She's still in the sea. Okay. Hi! Welcome back. Oh dear. So, there's a lot. Thank the Twelve! Did you find her? Did you find Minfilia? Sort of. Me neither, Alfie. Nor am I. Cryo? more sensitive to the will of Hydaelyn than Menphilia. And if Hydaelyn has grown so weak that she can barely make herself heard, it is not hard to see why Menphilia, having joined with her, might struggle to maintain her own form. Okay, that answers a few questions. What? Why would she need to maintain her own form? Are you saying... Are you saying she's gone? No. But that cannot be. Not now. Not after all we have accomplished. We were meant to wash her in the dawn's light together. She threw herself on the fire to fuel your dawn's light, boy. You'll just have to usher it in on your own. You can't tell me Minfilia doesn't make it Must back. Must you be so ungentle? <sighs> She's so good. Tell me about the Scions, boy. The, 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 the Scions of the Seventh Dawn lay before Aeolzia's salvation. Right. With or without Minfilia. Whenever the realm is threatened, be it by Primal, Asian, Garlean, or any other, we take up arms in her defense, that all in Aeolzia may live to see a brighter tomorrow. I don't have to like her, but they want to, my, my friends want to bring her in, bring her back. Uh, and I don't think she's lost to us forever. I, I, I refuse to believe that they're not going to bring her back. And that's very noble of you. But in chasing after these lofty goals of yours, you seem to have lost sight of some basic truths. <laughs> to win a war, you must be willing to do whatever it takes. To fight, to kill, and if necessary, to die. The path you've chosen is paved with the dead. 
Walk it with your eyes open. Or not at all. She's right. Alfie's a silly little boy, though. I know the truth of which you speak, and have from the first. If the Asians will go to any length to resurrect their god, then we must needs be as committed to our cause, to unmask them and their schemes, and to crush them both utterly. Come, there is much to be done. Yes, of course. Thancred, wait! He's upset he didn't say a word. No. No, this is all wrong. Alfie, you're acting a bit like a spoiled kid. You know, you stop your foot and... We can fix it. It's okay. I feel like he's... There's still a naivety about him. You know? The old lady wants to see some action. The old lady's seen enough action for all of our lifetimes. The new lady that look and acted just like Matoya. I feel like some people just get old and really grumpy. Like it happens. <laughs> She's not coming back, is she? Yes, she is! I- I'm- You can clip it. I think she's coming back. I refuse to believe that we have seen the last of Minfilia. I, I- I don't think she's lost. I- I- Stop! I refuse- No! We carry on. As we must. She went to great lengths to inform us of the enemy's designs. We stand, as ever, against the dark as defenders of the light. Yet for how long, I wonder, how much more loss must we endure? She didn't come back. I was flying with her. Yeah, but, like, I think she's gonna come back to us, like, in the flesh. I, 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 I have hope. I mean, so far you got like the game has killed off all of these characters and then brought them all back to life thus far. So, you know, excuse me if I'm a little suspicious when these characters are like, oh no, they're lost forever. Because really, I thought Yida was lost and Thancred was lost and Papa Limo was lost and now they're all back. So, I'm a little, mm. so that's where I'm at. And on that note, I think this is a great place to stop. <laughs> <laughs> ay ay ay. So I think we did a lot today. We went through all of the all of the raids, all of the Shadow of Mock. Thank you so much for those who joined us. Um what else did we do? We went through some story, but I, I you know, these raids take a while and I'm totally fine with it. Uh I am I'm totally committed. You often stop in denial too. Stop! Don't do this! Don't do this. Don't do this. Mad, I don't know if you were here when I said it. Uh, do you remember when I said you can't lose characters in side quests? I, I actually ended up clipping that and putting it on TikTok, and everybody on TikTok was like... Just so you see. <laughs> I did get the frog minion. I'll pop it later. I'm not gonna pop it now. I, I'm really hungry. Pick this up so you don't have to come back to the cave. No, I like the cave. I like the cave. It's okay. I don't mind. I have made an unwise statement. I will regret this. That I will. Um, on... So, tomorrow... Tomorrow. I will be starting, I think, did, who, who won the straw poll? Let me scroll up here. Let's see, who won the straw poll? So, so Ori and the Blind Forest is what we will be playing tomorrow. Uh, and I don't know how long Ori is, how many streams it's going to take, but I think we'll play on a pretty normal difficulty. We'll get through it. Uh, and then Sunday we will be continuing our adventures here in Eorzea. You got cookies? I had a cookie earlier. And some coffee. It was really nice. Is it a puzzle game? It's a platformer, yeah. Uh, it was generously gifted by Prof, and I made a poll that to see what game we we're gonna do next, uh, and Ori won, so that's what we will be doing first. That's about ten hours. I mean, given the, t the how difficult it is for me to get through anything, and how sidetrack I do, maybe a couple of streams? That's fine. Thank you, Future. 
I appreciate that you always have an answer for me because I ask a hundred questions. No, the new PC is here on the floor. I'm overhauling my stream space, so I'm gonna set up the dual PCs. I need some extra time. Honestly, I, I haven't been able to do everything I want because setting up a new computer has been surprisingly a little overwhelming. So eventually I'll get to it. <laughs> but very soon, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I'll have the dual PC thing running. You've seen too many Disney movies and wanted too many side characters to get bing bonged. <laughs> I trust nothing. Plot armor is a lie that you refuse to believe. See, that's why I thought. I was like, oh, my party. Like, I have Thancred, I have Ida, I have Orianger. Like, everybody's a good guy. But then they start, like, offing people left and right. And last stream it was that we lost a character, like a major villain, in a side quest story. And I was just like, what is this game doing? Like, it's not following any of the rules. So at this point... Characters dying and living? Like, I, I have no basis. I have no fucking idea who's gonna die or live. Uh, I, I Literally, I, I turn a corner and there's some chaos happening. Uh, but it has kept me on my toes. Uh, it's been very exciting. And thank you for all of you for joining me through this journey. And, you know, your company, your, your playing with me, I so appreciate it. And thank you to Sarah who brought uh, her friends over today too. Are any of my friends streaming? I feel like I am... I have not raided any of my friends recently, but they're never on! Just have to kill Chaos? Can I do that? Chaos is a fizzy playthrough. Am I- am I really that chaotic, though? I think I'm quite charming, but I- granted, I haven't really watched very many of my streams. I watch my streams of, like, high, clip highlights and stuff, but I am- I am a little eccentric. Uh, definitely passionate. I cry a lot. I almost cried when Catchy, uh, got his red bill scarf today. That was very sweet. Sweet. I, I loved him. Um, I, I, I really did think about getting a sign that says X amount of days since Fizzy has cried because at this point it's like basically once a week. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going. Do I cry at work sometimes? Sometimes. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear audio anymore. Whoops. No, you can't. Can you hear audio? My, my headphones just died. So now I know about I don't know about five hours is how long my headphones can last before the power dies <laughs> so I'm gonna take the dogs out I'm gonna go grab something to eat I hope to see you tomorrow for Ori in the Blind Forest if not more Final Fantasy adventures on Sunday so thank you so much for hanging my friends and I hope to see you soon <laughs>